Holy shit, for a second we almost played peak. <laughs> we almost we almost went to peak eternal instead of what rem, what relames of midith cringe. <laughs> what if I'm what if I stole what if what if I was like let's boot doom eternal. Uh <laughs> and then I played the level of uh, ancient gods part 2 that Sis hasn't played yet. <laughs> just to be just, just Boot into the part of this game I'm playing, which is only slightly ahead of where Sizz is playing. Just to spoil the whole thing for him. This doesn't have music. I can hear that. I thought this had like a song that it played. This stream's gonna be an Edith Cinch. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the stream. Zebra, thank you for the raid. Turn of the Drew. Thanks for the resub. Will, <laughs> this guy is obnoxious. <laughs> Would you ever, question of the day. <laughs> Would you, would you ever catch up on a game that someone else is streaming during their stream of it? <laughs> Truly will behavior. Hey. Thank you for coming to the stream, everybody, including Will. What's up, everybody? Uh, Pixie, Turn of the Drew, Zabrag, Sayas, Bowridge, Kingo, Buddy Bro, Comb. Hi, guys. I mean, like, playing it while someone else is playing it, like, I totally get that. I've definitely done that before, but, like... <laughs> Catching up, <laughs> like it's it's like a, I don't know. Awful lot of peak on the recent games. Yeah, look, we got here. Look, we got peak, 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 fucking peak. Guys, what if we just went back in? All right, now here's what I'm saying. The stream title this week. YouTube's gonna give me this as a thumbnail. The stream title this week, you guys, um, was a little bit of a of a like a little bit of a jape, a little in jest. Um, but don't forget that it took us <laughs> two weeks to beat this. <laughs> so I'm just saying, <laughs> this shit could <laughs> like we could be up pretty late tonight, you guys. This shit could take a, <laughs> could take more than the than the how mid to mid is on it. It took me two weeks to beat with Tom. That game was crazy. Yo, what's up, Kingo? 
<laughs> One hour per week. Yeah, we could stretch it out. Uh, no. We need to beat... Guys, it's What Remains of Edith Finch name. Uh, the phone was... Uh, Margaret? Something like that, right? The only one I can remember is Christopher. Christopher was the, uh... <laughs> what was he, an onion? Well, he wasn't an onion, he was a stone, but he became an onion, right? I love Christopher. <laughs> that was a funny playthrough, you guys. Doing tearing the stream playthroughs though, you guys. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Well, Tom might be a little low. <laughs> the next time I come around to streaming the the tearing the stream playthroughs, what Tom, <laughs> what Tom may not be as uh as uh high up on the list as uh one might think. Hey, K man, bye. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like a game like this. All right, I'm not. Listen, let's be let's be real here. Yes, are we trying to waste a week here before actual True Peak comes out? The Splatoon three side expansion, definitely. Um, but I'm not trying to make any judgments on Edith Finch. I know people like this game. It's you know it might not be peak like the rest of these other games except for the Messenger, um, but. Listen, I'm expecting it to be fun. Anybody ever... I know Comb has played this. Anybody else played this? What the fuck happened to Edith Finch? Um, I don't know anything about this game, you guys. I have it for free. Uh, I got it... I think I got it for free on PS Plus. Yo, thank you guys for the watch streaks also. Came in coming in to cash in his watch streak and then dip in. Um, I got this for free on PS Plus, I believe. Um, I had always heard of it from... You know, since when it came out, because it, you know, it's an indie game that got some, or is it even an indie game? I think I think Anna Perna published this, right? Does that make it not an indie game anymore, or does it? I mean, it was an in. I would imagine an indie dev. I don't know. I don't fucking know what. <laughs> I don't know what an indie game is. <laughs> anyway, um. When the game, yeah, but like those guys, they, but those guys like publish a bunch of games, right? It, it's, it's true. It, it really is more about the vibe. It's sort of a genre based. It's like alt rock or, uh, or like indie rock kind of. It's really just sort of based around, you know, being lower scale and like centered around like a singular idea most of the time. Um, or having just like kind of like a cool uh, non triple A vibe. Um, yeah. Well, one way or another, uh, I remember when this came out. We had I don't even remember where it came from. We had some bit about this way way back in the day because someone I'm not gonna name names, but someone annoying that a number of people in our friend group knew was like. I don't remember what it was that they said about this game, but we just thought it was funny because someone annoying liked it. <laughs> It sounds really mean, but I promise you guys, the person was pretty annoying. Um, so, like, it ended up becoming, like, a, a sort of, like, just... Just because it's a funny title, What Remains of Edith Finch. We had a little in-joke about the game back in the day, despite, I don't think, anybody having played it. Um, and then I was, like, I got it on PS5, and I always just held on to it as an idea to stream. Because, you know, it could be cool. I don't know what the game is about. I don't know if it's like I I have always assumed that this is a walking simulator. Um which is not my favorite genre. Uh but also like the walking sims that I've played were like the first wave, like your Dear Esters and your Gone Homes, those like pretty early ones. Um, and I know this is like a, a well, like later on, like later down the road of the, evo if, if that's what this is, this is later down the road of the evolution of that genre, kind of. Um, and there's a house, I guess, I guess it start. I guess there's this house seems important. This is a cool ass looking house. I really don't know fucking anything about it. I think we should just start playing the game. The one thing I do know about it is that it boots right into the game. Doug Walker. <laughs> That would have been good since. I might have gone for that, honestly. 
Um, I know that it boots like right into the story, like it doesn't give you a title screen or anything, because I tested it the other day. But so I think we should just start if we're gonna if we really think we're gonna beat the game tonight, we should just begin. Um, yeah, I'm going in blank slate. No, no judgments. Uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. Yo, giant! There's the Edith Finch. Whatever hap What remains of Eric Sparrow? They should. That should be the sequel game to this. Going to Edith Island. I like a bird too, zebra. I like a bird. I wish the game was about a bird named Edith, but I don't think that it is. Is there, um. Oh. Options. Okay, this seems all fine. Keep this shit cranked as high as possible. Alright, we got a. What is this? My family tree? It looks like it is my family tree. Do we have Edith Finch on here? Ingeborg. <laughs> Edie, maybe? Maybe I'm Edie. Oh, no, there's Edith, 1999. 1999, Bizarre Summer. Yeah, I also always forget what the game is called. <laughs> I also think it's Whatever Happened to Edith Finch, even though, obviously, it's that Whatever Happened to Robot Jones is what everybody's fucking thinking of. You guys want to know the crazy thing about whatever happened to Robot Jones? Uh, is that, like, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You know what I'm saying? Edith Finch book. Alright, we got some, what are those, orchids? Right? See, Isaac doesn't know what it is. Like, you can't, you call your show Whatever Happened to Robot Jones, and then the show is, like, a weird, obscure Cartoon Network joint from, like... I don't know, was it the early 2000s? And then your show becomes the show, right? I, I did not like that show. I never once liked it, or never liked it. But it's just funny that, like, you can say the same thing about the show that the show was saying about the... Like, that was the joke of the title of the show. You guys get what I'm saying. Alright, it, lo it looks like it wants me to open this book. Um, but none of my buttons. Oh, L did it. Oh, well, flippa. This isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. All right, I'm sorry. I need to, <laughs> I need to turn this up on my end. I'm sure it sounds fine volume-wise for you guys. Tell me if it doesn't though. But I need to turn up the volume on my uh, TV end. Um, I'm walking around in the background now. You just finish. I'm sorry. I'm ruining the art of this game. I'm sorry I'm ruining the art of this game. Do we think we're Edie? Oh no, Edie is 1917 to 2010. Edie lived that long. Actually, what the fuck is going on on this family tree? 1917 to 2010, that's like, how many years is that? That's a lot. Is that 93? Maybe my math is off there. 93 years? And everybody else seems to have died. <laughs> even my, even Lewis and Milton? I would imagine those are my family members. I think we're Edith. Uh, obviously. Everybody else is dead. Milton didn't even fucking make it... 19... What is that? 2008? 92 to 2008? Milton didn't fucking... He didn't... He didn't even have a chance. Edith... <laughs> Edith is alone. Alright, sorry. I'm just gonna start at the beginning. With the house. Alright, we're playing. We're playing the feud. We're playing through the story... The story or the journal of Edith. I think we're Edith. Someone also. had put up a chain link fence, 
but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Okay. I, th I figured we were going this way. That not that the house? Yeah, and she has a cast, weak bones. Edith's days are numbered. Okay, so we hopped it we hopped it coming from that direction. What do we got here? My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. Oh, Milty. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Oh, is it a, is this like a haunted house? Now listen again, speak when we're talking about walking sims, I know a little thing or two about haunted houses. And I know that sometimes the game really, really wants you to think the house is haunted the entire game, and it's not actually I haunted. I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. But maybe this one is actually haunted. Or maybe it's haunted by our familial trauma or something like that. It's easily could be. Maybe, maybe both are real. All right, and I'm, it's my my button is R two for this. Okay. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. <laughs> Maybe the twist is that the house is gay. I played that one. Yeah, well, this is well, this is a we're back. We're go, we went back. We're we're I this is her memories. My brother Lewis's funeral. No. All right, I'm I'm. This feels like this will be super important. Okay, so Lewis, it would have been the most recent one to have died, right? Milton disappeared before Lewis. Even though Milton was younger. Molly on the tree. Sis? She was only... <laughs> Where's Mo Molly? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Molly way back. We live in a house that eats people. Why do we why didn't we just move? Is it cuz this is the coolest fucking house of all time probably. If you lived in a sweet ass house and but it yeah. ate your family members, would you stay? Didn't tell me what it okay. I'm help I'm grateful Maybe that I have I the know. text. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The Finches. <gasps> Cute. Uh, if my last name was a bird name, I would have bird shit all over the place. Not like bird shit, obviously, but... Um, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for, sis. Can I... Well... There's two ways I can go here. Is it? Do your choices matter in this? I think I'm gonna go down the, the, path, the road less taken. Down through the little woods. If I if this is, was my real house that I lived in, I would always walk this way. Got a little frog ribboning in the brook. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Rah. The house being like, <laughs> I don't know, the just the house have always been uncomfortably unfortunate. Silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. You ever been in the woods and felt like that, you guys? I've done a little time in the woods, not a ton of time in the woods. Uh, but you ever done that? You ever? You question they have you ever even really been in the woods? Yo, can we shoot some hoops? There's stuff out there for sure. What if, what if, uh, what's my name? Edie, Edith. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh no, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, I thought, I had the names mixed up. But I think, alright, here's my first prediction. I think old Edie, the 93 year old woman, is gonna be super fucking important to this game. Um... Because we have, one, we have the same name, basically. Her name was probably Edith, Edie for short. And two, her ass is the only one that fucking lived any life at all. Everybody else died in like 20 years. Look at these guys. Edie and Odin. Been in a jungle? I mean, a jungle is definitely the, you know, the woods of a different, you know, biome. The way I've been dreaming about it. Oh. 
So we said that, so Edith has been to the house before. Do we think, did she, did she say that she lived here? As a child, the house made me uncomfortable. Okay, yes. Way I couldn't put into or maybe she visited. Maybe this is a, like a grandparent or a relative's home. Yeah, this house is raw. Also, look at this. Here's, what was his name? Milton again. This is Milton, right? I really don't like the way that, like, the lighting... <laughs> Are you guys seeing that? Look at this. Ugh. Why does it look like that? <laughs> I'm willing to believe that that is also maybe, like, a PS4 port version or uh, uh, issue. Um, as sometimes things are wont to be. Milton again. Oh, my God. This looks like those Airbnbs we were looking at the other night. Didn't even pick up the plastic chairs. Well, if it, there's no one who's been in the house in a long time, these probably got knocked over by the wind. Would you st if if you saw Air Edith Finch house on the Air on an Airbnb listing on Verbo? Now, as would a you? seventeen year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. No. Yeah, put the put this house on the dock. I think the house should have a name. I guess it's the Finch House. How far from the beach? I mean, it seemed like she was maybe taking a ferry away from here, or maybe she was. Seems like it's on the water. We got the mist or the fog. I would have like if if on the other side of this house right now there's a like a coast, like a rocky coast. I will not be surprised in the in the slightest. Let's uh, maybe the key goes to the garage. In the garage. We got to go around the side yard. Fire hydrant. Recycling. All right. Can I crawl through the doggy door like <laughs> Tobias? Oh my god, we can. Okay. This is how I'm getting in. I didn't even my ass didn't even the check the front door. door. Be a lot easier when I was 11. <laughs> my ass didn't even check the front door. Can I go back out? I guess I did the right thing. The power had been turned off the night we left. Yeah, the garage. Yo, sweet bike. What are these? Is this is a car? Did someone? I would imagine that there no one lives in the house, right? They left their car here. Why would you ever? All right, we got. What's this? <laughs> is this a fryer? <laughs> what is this? Well, I think there was a road. Uh, we just didn't go down it, Says We walked through the, the woods. This is a fri- Yeah, but like, what is this stuff? These baskets. It's probably a freezer. One of those things people put food in sometimes. Did you have a freezer in the garage? We didn't, but uh, a lot of friends of mine did. I remember my across-the-street neighbors used to keep uh, those uh, ice pops. Otter pops, or as some people call them. Uh, in the garage when we were in the summers we would always go out there and get them we got the kiddie pool probably a lot of good biking around these parts an ice box is that what you're thinking of King of? Time in years. and stinger felt like I was home. yeah there we go that's the that's your trailer shot it's your trailer dialogue oh we got a dachi on here Okay, so it's currently 2010. So, I guess that makes sense. She said she hadn't been here since Lewis died, right? And they came here for Lewis's funeral. This game takes place after Persona 3. Yeah, here we go. Edith, Milton, and Lewis. Don, Edie. Don is probably my mom. Why does that... Hold on, what the fuck? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Why does that look like it says 2016? She, oh yeah, so, it, you know, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. This is just, this calendar is old. Yeah, it's 2016. Maybe she's here because Don died. So it looks like the three kids, Don, who's their mom, and Edie might be great-grandma, lived here together. Yeah, 
Yo, made of meat. Walk and tempura, yo. Edie, you better get your ass out there and rock the fucking vote. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> she died mid Obama, sis. Oh, Edith. Listen, it's hard. It's confusing when they have the same name. I'm not looking at the chat that hard. But instead of a family, they were just memories of one. Yo, look us. Yeah, there she is. That's great, Gram Gam. Is if Gam if we are playing a second game in a row that or not in a row, but you know, like a second game on here where Gam Gam fucking did it all. <laughs> Wasn't Gam Gam named Edie in the, in that game also? <laughs> No, Evie, right? <laughs> Close, though. Edith? All right, Lewis Finch. Yeah, here we go. We got it all figured out, baby. Finch Family Cemetery. They got their own fucking cemetery. This is like a crock pot. We got the Brita. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had <laughs> Chinese a lot. Yeah, Gam Gam was was uh was really good, strong character in the snack pantheon. Why does a stove have twenty fucking knobs on it? <laughs> this game is a little dark. What happens if I punch the brightness up a little bit? I know it like it's supposed to be like dark in this abandoned house. This is probably gonna really fuck with the. That's so much better. I don't want to turn it up like way, way too high because it'll mess with the atmosphere, but uh, that's so much, that's way fucking better. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Aww. I hope Molly got out okay. Got an apple pie. I'm stealing, I'm about to <laughs> finesse this recipe. <laughs> I'm making this shit tomorrow. Look at this, <laughs> have you ever, look at this microwave completely surrounded by cabinets. <laughs> That's awesome. You'll have a house with character, you guys. It looked like there was something else I could interact with, maybe? Or maybe it was just the can, what is this, canned salmon? Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. It is rather cluttered. This must be how Gam Gam got up the stairs. Here we go. Is this maybe my uh, lock? Oh, that's people. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Buried in the library? What? It, in where? The walls? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> They buried him in the house. No wonder this shit's haunted. All right, I'm gonna unlock the front door. This will secure my escape route. Eh. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. No. Look at little Milt. He looks like he looks like a fake human. <laughs> he looks aggressively like like there should like over his like tra like a transparency over this picture there should be like the tag of like a, of like getty images or like some kind of stock image thing a lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night little mildo okay does that mean they left suddenly well let's see if we can figure it out The sequence of deaths would be, like, I'm just trying to think of the most recent deaths. Gr Gam Gam and Lewis seem to have died the same year. And then, how, I, I believe how Edith described it is that they that was the last time they were in the house. So it must have been that Dawn and her left. And then Dawn at some point died also down the road. But maybe they just, like... This looks like clearly they were maybe sort of trying to pack this shit up. And then she just decided, fuck it, I hate packing peanuts, and just ran out the door, maybe. Oh, look, the Finch house. 
What if what if my name what if your name was a bird? Yo. We we're Edith. <laughs> Zebra. I know it's hard. Yeah, here's someone who died in the war. Do you think that's Papa? I like the little these little birds are all over the house. Barbara, Barbara. Where's Barbara? All right, that would have been like first child of the gen. Oh, Barbara Streisand? Is that who that is? <laughs> Barbara short for Barbara Streisand? Here we go, baby. <gasps> Bigfoot! Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Oh my god, does Bigfoot take them? If you guys let me play this game knowing that the game is about Bigfoot takes them, <laughs> it's so over. This is actually a 10. <laughs> I didn't even really think about what she said. What did she say? I was too focused on... Oh, maybe I can play it again. Can we play it again, Eid? I probably won't get the text again. Okay, well this might be my door for my key, but I'd like to look around the rest of the house first. Even this the fireplace had a story. Oh. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. Oh. After it sank. Re oh my god, it sank. Uh this room is wonderful. This is a lovely room. Look how cozy. Not only do we have <laughs> for the t <laughs> God, this TV is all sitting on books also for the time for great grandma's TV not a terrible TV but like look at I if I was I would sit in this well I might sit out here but like if it was a stormy night or something or just night I would sit here on the couch with the lights on looking out at the water all night the table was still a wreck from the night we left Edith, be honest with me. Was it Bigfoot? Yeah. If I was doing an Airbnb, I would... Uh, I'm thinking like... One like this. And then maybe... One like this, maybe. I think that captures the whole thing. Orca... Where, where are we? Are we thinking we're like either in like uh, Washington or even maybe like like Canada? Are we on the northwest coast? That's where I. That's where it like feels like we are. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Yeah, we got, uh, I guess we got more of this. This is the takeout restaurant she was talking about, right? Probably. My mom oh. was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing Oh, home. no. The kids didn't want her to go. Yeah, is it Pacific Drive? Is this the, is that the garage? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right, I think that's everything in the house. We're platinuming this game tonight, too, you guys. Big plat. Yo, do they got Edith Finch VR? Can we go up the stairs? I guess, yeah, I guess we could. After Milton disappeared. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> okay. Bugs. This wall is crazy. I've been in. I've been in that. There's a house we used to stay at. A cup for a couple years. I would um. In the summer, I'd go to Maine, which is where my mom's from, and we would. Uh, my grandpa would rent this. Ooh, this is interesting. My grandpa would rent this uh, beach house for us to stay in. 
And it wasn't quite this cluttered, but the people that rented the house out had like a staircase that had a bunch of pictures like way up the stairs like that. And I also, as a kid, used to think that house was haunted. Um, and it really was just kind of like an old house and it had like some weird, uh, you know, it just had like some sort of like kind of p quirky, peculiar like things in it and stuff like that. Um, but it used to, what the fuck, is that a shark? Oh my god, this ha this place is fucked up. I know that's on the I wall, spent a but long like time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Oh, this room is raw. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. We got something was scraped across the floor in here. Walter. Um, but yeah, I used to think that house was haunted and it used to scare me. The and the, even just like it was like it had wood ceilings like the like like real wood. And when I would be in, like, bed at nighttime, I would look up at the, like, knots in the wood and stuff like that and, like, find scary-looking ones and, like, scare myself and stuff. I just used to be like that as a kid. But because of that, it's, like, memorable to me. Is this Walter? I know I've just been, like, walking around, but we're, we gotta do this methodically. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Who was that? Oh, that's her older brother. All right, does this my key work? 20,000 leagues under the sea? Oh, god damn it. I didn't want to do this yet. Is this going to take me into like a book portal? Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh my god. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. I don't know if I want to do this yet. I'm not going in there yet. I wonder if maybe the key opens, like, all of the, uh, keyholes, and there's, like, I don't know. It feels like, do we see any other books? It feels like there might be, like, segments. And the house is, like, the hub. That's, like, that's what, that's in my mind when I saw how this game was, uh, this is, oh my god, the chair that makes you a great grandmother. The chair that you sit in and you have suddenly children and their own, and your children have children and their children have children. <laughs> the chair that turns you into a great gam gam. <laughs> All right, we still can't go in. Who is Barbara again? All right, just another relative. In the grandma great aunt uh, generation. Katie's father Odin built the original house. Oh my God! Look at his sideburns. He, Odin, Odin, kind of raw. Is did she say that was her? I guess that would make sense. That's Edie's father. Who was his wife? Engelberg. Who do we think Engelberg, Sven, and Sanjay are? The fallen leaves. I guess eighteen eighty, and if she was born in nineteen seventeen, is that what she just said? I think that's what she said. Odin built the house. We live in the the throne of Odin. Yes! Oh, I see now. Ah, okay, now it makes sense. So Barbara... Barbara starred in a movie about Bigfoot. That's what the Bigfoot stuff is. Whenever people ask me about my family... <laughs> The first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. He's just a puzzle. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Okay. This is this is again like aggressively gone home. Oh, and yes, here we go. The movie star door and everything. All right, so that was it must have been a big deal that Barbara was like a child actress. And Barbara is did she, did we did she say this Barbara is my grandma? I think I've I, it was the guys again I'm so sorry but like the Bigfoot popping up on the music box ruined everything. I feel like I missed a huge element of the plot because Bigfoot popped up on the music box box and I popped off. Is like obviously you know like we got a bunch of kids here on the like line above our our parents. But I think Barbara must... Barbara is maybe my grandma. 
And these are the rooms, I guess, right? Because we, she said we locked them all up. Here's Calvin and Sam, or other kid, the other kids from there. This must maybe was Molly's room. And here's Sven. Okay. So maybe Sven is Sven is the is the husband of Edie. And then that would mean Ingle, Ingeborg was the wife of Odin, maybe. I guess that would make sense. Maybe they're maybe they they're immigrants. Maybe they came from wherever your names are like that, it's fucking Sweden or some some you know somewhere like that. Iceland, Norway. Norway, right? Would it be? Through I go. I guess this is where we have to go. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had. Wait, was Vikings? Okay, Milton was here. Cause he wrote Milton and he drew a bird eating a or a cat eating a bird. It looks like. What? Look at this wonderful little room. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. This, if I was a kid, this I would never leave this spot. But I would like to have somebody at like up here with me or like maybe in uh, Walter's room because <laughs> if I was up here all alone by myself doing my little meh, 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 doing my little drawing or something or playing or something and so, you know sometimes when you're a kid suddenly you just get scared and you gotta like you're like nah I, I'm out of here the vibes are off but I had no idea what was behind that door I would be like that all right whose room is this just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Orca Island Calves. So I went through Walter's room. I grew up looking at Molly's room. room through the peephole. Could I have looked through the peepholes of the other rooms? I don't think I could have. Got a little hamster in here. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Someone else must have been staying in here though, because why would there have been a, like poops from a hamster? If this lit, when did she? Do, what? I can't even read what that says. Does it say 1997 or 1947? Either way, why would there be little poops from a hamster? Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier <sighs> gerbil. This shit's cage. crazy. Unless they like really, really preserved the rooms. This is adorable. All right, it's a gerbil. But all I'm saying is, if, if you've really preserved the rooms, you clean up the poops. The kids must have stayed in these rooms, though, right? Because where the fuck did we... Like, we lived in the house. Where did we stay? I bet someone... Maybe it was me. I bet somebody else just stayed here. There I she is. since Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. This is cute. Starfish. We were examining starfishes. Here we go. Here's a map of the house. We've kind of seen this, though. I'm... Yeah, I'm on this side. 1940. Yeah, it, it's very... It just seems to be immaculately preserved. Because the calendar in here has not changed either. Would you eat it? I mean, if this... If... <laughs> If we're saying this starfish has been here since 1947, nah, I think I'm going to pass on that one. <laughs> That's about to be a rotten-ass starfish. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. The Diary of Molly. December 13th, 1947. Oh, my God. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. 
I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Here we go. We're Molly now. So she would have been 10. I feel like I should be shorter. I guess I'm pretty, I'm, I'm about 10 height. She would have been a 10. Hi, Jerby. Me, 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 me. It's the gerbil food. That, what the fuck kind of... The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Molly? <laughs> she just whole-fisted that gerbil carrot. <laughs> what the fuck? Please don't eat your fish. Oh my god, you can. Oh no. We gotta do it, right? Thought about... No, come on, man. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Christopher once again. Well, well, I should have eaten his ass. Oh, look, he's eating the words. Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. Well fucking well. I thought about eating a starfish, but then I don't even know how to do that, dude. Can you do that? If only Chainsaw Man came out in 1947. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's this? Is this my plastic pumpkin? Can I eat this? My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh, Mal. All right, which way do I want to go? Mom, all right. Oh my god, they were locked in the doors. It's late. Go to sleep. <laughs> well, maybe mom locked me in because it was bedtime. <laughs> that is Monka S. So that would have been... Was that... Is that Edie then? I think so. Are we going to drink toilet water? Eat the mistletoe? I guess I'm. I feel like now I feel like I'm shorter than ten. Eat my I toothpaste. Kept eating and eating. Oh God! Look at her her hands. Oh no! <laughs> what is going on in this house? <laughs> Zebra egg sip. Oh no! <laughs> she slurped that toothpaste. Oh, Steiner, no. That night. These are absolutely plastic. There is no way those are not like that, like foamy, like <laughs> I know exactly what the material of those are. <laughs> I'm just going around eating things. My oh, here we go. This is how they got her. Hi, Bertie. Can I eat you? It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. Jesus Christ. I reached out for her. The windows are chained. What the fuck was Gam Gam cooking? And suddenly... Oh, we were a cat. A cat. Oh, cute. <laughs> Come here, barn swallow. Just for today, I've become a cat. <laughs> Meow. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Can I, am I doing this the right way? I can... There we go. Let's see, can I see... Oh, it must be... It's Christmas time, I guess. That's what the... Um, Oh yeah, you're right. They did say that. But do we think there's there's definitely some tomfoolery coming uh, going on? Because clearly that was that, like there's there's got to be. I mean, again, the, the cat could just be named after the daughter. But would you name your cat after your daughter that died? There's something weird going on for sure. I'm pouncing this though. I don't even give a fuck. We'll find out. The game will tell me. Um, maybe I can get on the... Here we go. I'm doing some, uh, cat forming. The pinnacle of cat forming action. Stray who? Should we play that on here? You bird! 
of just fly away, bird. <laughs> Either get caught or go home. <laughs> Do I have to like corner the bird? I jumped and I almost got her. Would a house cat ever fucking go to such lengths? This is cool as fuck. What is this? Is this a tree house? I heard Stray is like very cool until it like kind of runs out of ideas. And that seems like what I also believe the game is like. This must be just like our tree house. There's the lake. Or do we think it's the a coast? Tree houses. Flinny cat. Here we go, on the chair. Steiner. Oh. I didn't know my jump was like, <laughs> to such a degree. Well, I'm a cat, I can just jump up onto the table. Or? I could tell she was getting really tired. Okay, I guess I'm up here now. Where did it go? Flaney cat in a Flaney house. Am I going down here? Where did he go? Up? I guess maybe I need to go out here. Now I was up in the big tree. Here we go. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. <laughs> I'm gonna get the bird. <laughs> oh, Molly. Molly, no, you didn't. You fell. And suddenly, I was an owl. Oh, okay. All right. All I heard was the wind. Yo. Little teeth nibbling in the grass. Here we go. Owls can hear such things. I'm about to show you guys a fucking takedown. Wait, 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 wait. That's not what the that's not what the animal is. Alright, now check this out, sis. I'm gonna use my owl sense. Watch and learn. Yeah. Yep, that's how it's done. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my towers. Sea brag much. <laughs> and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. A mama rabbit. Here we go. Mine. Mine. She was almost too big to carry. This owl has eaten two rabbits in one day. <laughs> That's a lot of rabbit. Oh, okay. There we go. That'll that'll fix your problem. <laughs> shark. Oh. We. Oh my God. Oh, this is sh sh okay. Shark forming. <laughs> We're hitting the sh hitting the shark slopes. Oh yeah, okay. Take me across the road. There we go. I'm free, baby. Sharks are not from the woods. Can I like shark swim? Yes, I can. Can I shark speed? What are we hunting? What are we hunting? Here we go, baby. A delicious seal. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> no, fuck you. Come back, seal. There we go. I've marked him. Breach. Oh yeah, baby. Oh no! When I opened my eyes, everything had 
changed. Oh, now I'm uh, the Kraken. <laughs> here we go, baby. Any sailors around here for me to get? This is cool. I don't even need this parrot. I'm going for the captain, baby. Can I slink under this? Yep. Now, if you're a sea monster, this is exactly where you want to go. Except I shouldn't have knocked over the bucket there because he would he could have heard that. Oh, I've lo oh no! You're gonna tie yourself in knots, Molly. Okay. No, 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 no. Can I yoink him from here? Yes! Kill! She singing. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Any captains in here? Oh, he's drunk. I'm gonna weave my way around these poles. Can I grab him by his leg? Going out the door. We gotta be really sneaky here. She's going for God. <laughs> Here we go, up the pipe. Out the toilet. On her floor. This is going to put me back in the house. What if? Is it? Is this Molly's room? Oh my God. She's gonna, is she gonna eat herself? <laughs> Eaten by her own sea monster self and also she was a cat? That's definitely where we're going, right? Yo, all my stomachs. All my stomachs started growling. And so we're under the bed. Was me again. I oh no, don't. So I write that. Absolutely. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Well, All right, write this in my book. Molly I'm eaten sure by I sea monster. Be, but I'm sure Edie would have. Yeah, her handwriting was her handwriting was impeccable. And this was her little she look at her little flaney cat, Molly. <laughs> she was a little flaney cat. All right. Well, we got one down. The story of Molly. She does have a little cat ears here too. I just heard a cat noise also. Did you guys hear that? That was definitely a meow. Did you hear it? This is a fox. You who any birds out here for me to eat? <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. This is this is awesome. So this must have been built after Molly's time, right? 
Because I don't think this stuff was... Later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. This stuff I don't think was out here before. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Mama. Okay, good to know. Maybe she read the story then. Except why would you fucking ever... That was the most fucked story ever. She, I guess, I would imagine she must have just disappeared, right? And that's maybe what happened to all of them. Here we go, I bird spent room. I a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Okay. Oh, this makes me sad. We got our oxygen pills. We got. Fuck, is that a bong, <laughs> Edie? Okay. Edie's got the CRT. Mole man beneath the finch house. <laughs> oh, I am going to look at that. Uh, what else do we got in here? Was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Interesting. She could have, but she didn't. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Dragon kills finch. Badass fucking slide. Tragedy strikes the Finch family. I guess he was building it out of the tree. I wonder to what d degree, like, I have a little uh, Christmas ornament that looks just like this little uh, fisherman in the slicker. Oh, here's the blueprints of the fucking house. I wonder to what degree, like, because it seems like clearly like Edie is like a, you know, she's a, a, sort of a mischievous, uh, Old old soul. I wonder to what degree, like the the things that actually Maybe happened to the kids, maybe were like fabrications. Just in time to replace the old ones. Okay. Who do we think that is? Is that me? Did she paint this? Maybe. Pair of gloves. I guess is that what she was talking about? Is are those the, her gloves? That that looks like me. I guess that's a painting of me. I gotta read about Mole Man. Mole Man from beneath the Finch House. The fuck? When did family day out at Druid World? <laughs> this is... If this was 2024 times, this would be AI generated. Edie gave a big interview about a Mole Man living under the Finch House. My mom was furious. That's awesome. I love Gam Gam. Except she might have killed all of her kids. Possibly. And then blamed it on ghosts and sea monsters and Bigfoot. But until proven otherwise, I love Gam Gam. Look, he's like a star-nosed mole. They drew, they did a composite and everything. <laughs> the Pacific probe must... Okay, yeah, Pacific. We, we, we must be in Washington. Um, They did... This has got to be like a National Enquirer. You know, like a... Like one of those, like, rag uh, publications. Alright, got a bunch of home movies. Uh, looks like we were on an episode of Weird America. Edith Jr. Edith Jr. Lake Trip? Do I have a child? <laughs> I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long time. Oh, I see. Time. We're named after her. Well, there we go. Mystery solved, you guys. I mean, that's pretty fucking obvious, but... <laughs> Mystery solved, you guys. I want to draw a line, like... Down to Edie. Named after Gam Gam. Even though I am Edith, I would just know that. I bet there are some really funny, uh... Oh, Edie short for Edith! Jorge Luis Borges. But there are some really funny uh, book titles here. Got the Jungle Book by old Rudyard Kipling. Alice in Wonderland, Call of the Wild, and Mummification. Three classics. These are just real books. Barbara Concept. Oh, though she was oh, she was an artist though. We well, we've seen that obviously in this room. Molly concepts, though. Are the children invented? Did she invent the children? Were there no children? 
Am I from a tube? Edie won't go. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. I love her. There's definitely a true timeline. None of this shit is real, I'm convinced. Except that there's a house. But even the house could be fake. Right, who do we think this is? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> this must be maybe Lewis. Lewis died a week yeah. before we left. But Edie had already started to memorialize him. Oh. Maybe she drew this on the walls, too. Oh, yeah, there she is drawing it on the walls. She drew the fish room. So Walter's room wasn't boarded up, though? I wonder why that would be. Oh, Calvin and Sam are twins, also. Did they share a room? I think they had this, They both They had the same room, so that would make sense. There's Babs. Molly. Molly was the oldest? This is the dates of the years of their... Oh, I guess this is just the years these were made. Molly was the oldest, though. Barb, Walt. Gus. Did everybody make one of these? Are ours on here? Yeah, here we are. I like that. Is that a little boy with a little rifle? <laughs> Guys, this... Music museum. Yo, uh, Odin. Oh, I can look at this. I love these. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their Norway. Fortune. Look, I was right. We're on it. We're on it. fortune. So this is before they even came to America. This is this is Odin Odin times. Odin and what was the what was the we think the great great grandma's name Lindborg or something? Lindeborg. Here we go. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. Ingeborg. His wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. The curse. Pacific Norway. Well, they they clearly immigrated here from Norway. Except, like, that's where you'd go? That's a long fucking way to go from Norway to the other side of the United States. I mean, I guess you could go... I don't know, you'd probably go another way, right? How could you... How, question of the day. From, if you're going to go from Norway to Washington, like to Pacific Northwest, where do you go? You go... Do you go up? <laughs> Do you go north? How do you fucking get there? Do you, <laughs> you? I need to see like I need to see a view of like a map of the world from like f like top down, from North Pole like out. On January seventh, nineteen thirty-seven. He set sail with his family. Oh my God! The house, the house the house immigrated here. The house came here from Norway. Do we want to pull up Google Maps right now? I would do it. I'm not going to, but I would. But 40 foot waves <sighs> the coast of Washington and the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Why are there pictures of this? <laughs> Who took this picture? <laughs> Okay, well, we, she said something about the old house sank, right? Can I go back? 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington sent the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly. Here we go. Step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Okay, so they also came from Norway.
Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Interesting. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. She, look at them. Look, look, look at face apt Sven. <laughs> Smiling ass guy. All right. I mean, I guess if they're with this family, it goes back a long ways. I guess if they're famous, somebody fucking drew that. Maybe De artist depiction of that. All right, we're. I think we're. The game ends when we fill in everybody on the list. We've only got two so far, which means we're gonna be up till five a.m. You guys. The mysteries of death and thereafter. I guess he was an author. Yo, he, he was a swordsman. My my great-great-grandfather Odin was a swordsman. Okay, can't go in here yet. Oh, that's where I came from, though. That's the room we're in. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Nice, uh... Here we the go, baby. Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Going back. Oh, there's there's Kay. I guess that. Okay, so Grandpa Sam. Yeah, this is in the pink. <laughs> I guess Grandpa Sam, like grand, our our grandma is not really like in the picture clearly. Whoever. Uh, Maybe he kept. Maybe he had custody of the kids, or whoever my grandma was. It was not. She's a l barely a footnote. K, the first wife. She only got a, only got a had as a bathroom to her name on the. Uh, was a pretty big trace. On the <laughs> on the family tree. Yeah, Mount isn't this is in this is in Washington, right? Mount Rainier. Is it? I'm looking it up. Where is it? Is it in Canada? Let's look at Mount Rainier. That's in... It is in Washington. Uh, she came back. She got a key and felt drawn to the power of the house, I think. I think she just came back to solve the mystery of the of the, the of what's whatever's fucked up about this. This door is glued shut. Here we go, another book. We're not getting the story of K though. Secret in this bathroom. <laughs> Here we go. I really like these little books. There's a secret in this bathroom. Okay. Oh, this is fun. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Everybody had like a talent also. We got an uh, an author, um, a, an author slash a man who made a who built a floating house. Um, but again, that could be not true either. Even that could be like like there's clearly like a ton of like tall tales and oh here's where the centipedes come down. It seems this definitely seems to be a family built on eccentricities and tall tales. Um, but then we got a, an artist, we got a photographer, we had a movie star, an accomplished family for sure. Calvin Finch. Okay.
Yeah, this is Mahiru Crawl Space. Yeah, what's up, Shadi? Milton? Oh, yeah. He's been... Look, he's left it again. Oh, and the, um... The Milton's little uh, the drawing that he did before we went into Molly's room was a uh, cat eating a bird. So maybe he's, like... Maybe he's showing us, the like, the visions or something. I bet we're gonna... This one's gonna be about, like, a swing or something like that. Out of the way. Move it, stupid chair. Yo, Fort Calv. Alright, here these are the twins, right? Oh my god, we got we had a son we had a we had a dreamer of space and a military man. And there they are. <laughs> Calvin and Sam. Calvin and Hobbs. I forgot Sam was one of the one of the twins. Alright, we got Fort Sam. Alright, which guys, who you repping? I'm Fort Calvin all the way. Wait, Fort Calvin is way cooler too! Fort Sam fucking sucks compared to Fort Calvin. Hold on. <laughs> this room is awesome! Wait, okay, so you... Let's see, in Fort... I guess you go... Oh, no, this is pretty cool, too. You go around? I don't know, maybe he jumped down to his bed from here. This one doesn't have... Maybe he took down the ladder for whatever reason. It actually looks like they are the same. This one just doesn't have the bridge. This is some fucking uh, extreme home makeovers. Like, is that what that show? Is that the name of that show? You guys know the show where they? Is that what it's called? Where they take the house and they like get the new house for the family and they're like, and in your kids' room we put this crazy, uh, conspicuous thing that they'll probably be tired of in one year. And the kids are always like, wow, I love it, wow. I knew Grandpa Sam had. <laughs> No, nah, but this is badass, though. Except I feel like you would definitely clonk your head uh, waking up out of bed like that. But maybe you get used to it. This owns... I want to see what other funny things I can find. Uh, football star. Most improved player. Grandpa, come on. You got to do better than that. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. We got a pogo stick in the room. Very safe. I'm going Fort, I'm Fort Calvin all the way. Fort Sam fucking sucks. He's got, uh, what, what do we think that is? Oh, this is, that's his film. <laughs> Sick pick, dog. What is that, a 10 point? It is a 10 point. All right, all right, whatever. That's, that's respectable. <laughs> all right, I'm not going to joke that. <laughs> and that he never talked about him. What did we just say? He didn't talk about Calvin. To command center. That's so cute. Eh? What does this one say? Fucking suck the army's dick. This room is raw. Yeah, he never talked I about his twin brother. Didn't like history any more than my mom did. He did. She didn't know that we. She, well, she would have. She must have known that he had a twin brother, Edith. I mean, but he just never talked about him. This is awesome. I'm putting on the space helmet. All right, alien time. Old Cal died to an alien. I guess Calvin would have died in the house, right? Or maybe uh, <laughs> I'm trying to trying to kind of wrap my head around like. If they did, they live in the house the entire time until I left with Don, or how, like did just Edie maybe live here and some of our other family members left and came back? I guess we'll find out. How I want to remember my brother, by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Here is the swing. I mean, they would definitely all lived in the house at a, like at some point. But some of them only lived for 10 fucking years if we're looking at it, and some of them lived a lot longer. Yeah, here we <laughs> go. <laughs> 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 
This game is just an excuse for me to My do the stupid little baby voice. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's oh, it's Katamari controls. He ate another mushroom before he At died. Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. Oh my God, he's going. <laughs> I think Calvin always wanted to fly. I don't want to. I want to hear this first before I. Okay, now I can fly. Wait. I don't want to. I want to hear this first. I don't want to go off the cliff yet. Oh no. But Calvin kept going. He was going to space. Oh! But that day, he finally made up his mind. Jesus Christ! Whee! We're getting really high out over it. Oh! I told him going around was impossible. Oh, he's, oh I'm, trying, I'm trying to loop the top. Nah, I got Maybe this, if I dog. Said that. <laughs> now we can go around, baby. <laughs> Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Uh oh. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. He was badass as fuck. Here we go. Oh my god, I did it! I did it raw! Oh, holy shit. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. That was a short and sweet one. <laughs> but I kept swinging anyway. Calvin Make him an astronaut. Felt strangely yes! When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Did you ever used to do that, you guys? I, I did. <laughs> On the playground now, though. Not over my fucking... Not over my fucking... <laughs> swing off the cliff. He went around it. <laughs> Well, yeah, but also Molly transformed into a sea monster, so, you know. <laughs> he went around it like three times. Yeah, they're definitely exaggerated. <laughs> Do we think maybe she starves to death? Probably. And Calvin maybe jump, maybe accidentally jumped and swung off the cliff and died. Close. You think she ate the tooth? The toothpaste killed her. You think? I mean, she she definitely was yeah. eating. Edie roped off You know, inedible yeah. stuff. Okay, I guess that's maybe why. Uh, Mom I guess. Grab the Sam enlisted at eighteen and never set foot in the room again. Okay, so Sam did leave the house. That makes sense. See, I was right. And I guess he out he he outgrew the little bridge, um, which makes sense why it wouldn't be on here. He went all fucking in on the military too. Would would eating a whole tube of toothpaste kill you? I sort of interpret it as like she um. It was like you know she was sit just sitting in her bed like wasting away, starving away, kind of. I guess that's true. The berries would. It was because the. It, but I guess, I feel like you would just throw up the berries. She ate three berries. But I mean, you know, if you're already dying, maybe that was what did it. Look at them. Fun for us. I love that. The 
passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. This is crazy. Eeeen! Pumpkin scare. What am I, in a little baby basket? Oh my god, yes! This is the room I want to explore the most. What is this first, though? Okay, well, this goes back to the main hallway. Can I go back in the one? This is, this is super cool, also. I actually, when we were coming, when we were just like running through the house exploring things, I, um, I noticed this weird, like, wine, uh, what do you call this? Not a wine cellar. Whatever this wine cabinet thing is. And I was like, oh, that's fucking weird. Go back to the shark room? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a cask of Amontillado. Uh, where was the shark room? Here we go. Oh yeah, here's the house. The house what's sunk. Can we lift up the rug? It doesn't say, the the things you can interact with have the little white uh icon on them. This is a super cool room too though. What is this? The train? The undersea train? <laughs> we're, yeah, we're having a house con in the Edith Finch house. A wee blip. Where did I fucking come from? Uh, here. Okay. I am so excited for Bar for Barbara room, you guys. Barbara room. Child stars. Barbara Finch. And Il Il Milton's given us a pumpkin drawing to work with on this one. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me humanity, Barbara. <laughs> I will treasure our friendship always. I love you, Bigfoot. Don't go. This is a small, tiny little barber room. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Yeah, you know how it goes. She's got the red carpet, though, I guess. This is sort of the, like, gimmick of Barbara's room. Maybe they felt bad about giving her, like, the... Like, her own little room spell. But I guess the other... Like, none of the other, none of the other rooms were particularly big. Molly's room was pretty big, but... You know, Barbara has, like, this whole kind of... <laughs> she's got the lead-in. <laughs> and a little curtain. I guess this is a pretty cool room. Uh... The joke of Barbara, red carpet. Yeah, I guess that's true. Molly's the oldest. Seattle Starlets. That's a demon. What else? I'm just looking for more Bigfoot stuff, you guys. Oh! <laughs> Ugh. Vintage. This is like when Elaine eats that cake. <laughs> That's wonderful. We got Penelope's diner. And I guess this is just the Bigfoot stuff we got. Because it was just the one movie she was in, it looks like. <laughs> Introducing Barbara Finch. What, she won awards for this? I wish I could see what that says. She won the Oscar for Little Girl in a fucking Bigfoot B-movie, probably. I mean, it clearly it was not... It was clearly it would have been a, you know, a big enough movie. They made a fucking standee of her. I'm sure she was, you know... She seemed like a, like a Shirley Temple-esque kind of figure. Here we go, baby. Bigfoot one. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, 
I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh my god, she was in like a pulp novel. A ten cent comic. Oh, here we go. Creep creep show. I love this. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. This is a pumpkin scare, you guys. As a child star, Barbara But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't Whoa, Jack. Getting better. <laughs> you just need the right motivation. Mid. Her biggest fan, Ed's current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when. That was that way better. It was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw. Oh, my and God. Had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Shoot. Sven, you gotta watch those table saws. I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. This is... This, I, I love this. Hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... Mm. That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. Yeah, he There's sure fucking does, evidently. Oh, <gasps> yo. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. Aha. Uh -huh. I bet that goes to the attic. Oh, no, I guess she's going down, right? It must go to the basement. So Barbara went to look for him. Ew, look at my fingers. She reached for the music box. <laughs> there was a little white hand on the music box for you to <laughs> interact with. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Yeah. Probably safe. This is really. Oh, here we go. No, no, not it's the it's Friday the Thirteenth. Come on now. The Exorcist theme is. No, Halloween, not Friday the Thirteenth. Halloween, Halloween. And imagine the worst. It's Halloween, you guys. Is it literally the theme also? It sounds like it is. Is that theme like a fair use? Like could you just put that in movies? It sounds like it literally is just the theme from the movie. <laughs> Fuck you cans. I thought maybe they were doing like a Finis Monja oh, about of it, but no, it, it sounds like it's just the song from the movie. Fuck you! <laughs> is this a crutch I'm using also? Oh, uh, why is it like this down here? John Carpenter's a gamer. Okay, Carl Hamill, the Hookman Killer. This is horrific on its own. There are pumpkin scares in the basement. Oh, <laughs> this is here's the this is the table saw that he cut his uh, arm, or he cut himself on, but now it like it's now framed as it's like <laughs> like the gory scene of the murder. Speaking of Fenix Monja, let's do his little do a little boxing practice here. 
It's a little hard for me to see where I'm going with the like cell shaded look. Oh, you whack. Oh. Rip? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your screen. <laughs> Fuck you, Rick. I'm furious. <laughs> Tell him. I'm furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. What? Barb. Have you seen my other crutch? <laughs> and she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter? What's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Uh oh, it's the witching hour. Cool ass fucking egg seat also. They definitely in this uh, barber part, they're like, put a bunch of shit you can whack around with the crutch. Just for just for some fun for them. <laughs> oh, we got a, oh, here we go, baby. We got a skeleton in the hallway. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this skeleton. Watch this. <laughs> Oh man, I guess it's just my Christmas decorations. Apples for trick-or-treaters, green apples. What kind of house is this? No. Did I say Christmas? You know what I meant. You guys don't hang up skeletons for Christmas? Here we're going into Walter Room comic. Walter Room comic version. Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island Police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. <laughs> I returned, saw the hook man, and. Get his ass. Listen, my house has secret passages everywhere. This guy is owned. I'm beating up Bobo too. There was still a little time. There was still a little time for Barbara to have fun with the f environmental physics objects. <laughs> then she snuck away. It was fun for her. Yo, Barbara kind of got the dumpy too. All right, now we're in Molly room, and then the sea monster got her too. Oh look, this do we think this jellyfish is the was the like Do we think? Any fish in here for me to eat or starfish? No, we can't leave old Walt. Yeah, she got that cake like what Elaine ate. Uh oh, he a uh, bitch. <laughs> oh! He wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over. <laughs> it was Rick again. Oh, that Rick. Playing another prank on me. Don't step on that, Barbara. Walk around the fucking skate. It's time to finish the job. <laughs> don't don't tell him what I've done, Egg Chair. <gasps> had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Someone at the door was 
dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door, she whispered. It was coming from inside the house. Yeah, look, Nosferatu. They did the mash. She got her ass got monster mashed. Come on, Walter. I feel like he fumbled the bag on that one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, pumpkin creep. Oh, there's the ear. Yeah, this is heat. <laughs> this is how we memorialize her. Barbara wanted this to be remembered. How absurd that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. That was cool. I liked that one. I can, I'm I'm having a yeah, yeah. This is Barbara had all this and more, baby. I'm uh, having a hard time thinking of what the like pulp like comic that's actually like that is called, but I know that the the if you guys have ever seen the movie, it's I think it's it's just an eighties eighties classic like cult horror kind of movie creep show. You ever seen Creep Show? That movie owns, and also it's based on like whatever that comic uh, is. You know, whatever the whatever that like that sort of it's that funny. publication comic or whatever. The music box and never That's what the movie's based the on. Key. Okay, thank you, Edith. You don't have to backseat me, Edith Finch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fame was the monster. She was I'm actually killed by vampires with guns. Okay. Yeah, because her ear was in it. Ew, yoinks. Guys, I recommend that movie. Next to Halloween, if you're looking for something fun and, like, schlocky to put on, Creep Show. Alright, Steiner. Oh, here we go. I swear I rotated my control stick every single angle. Barbara salute. Any monsters down here? What do we think the true horror of that one was? Like what what do we think the true nature of that one was if we were that's what we were saying? So we're in that story she Um, escaped the hook-handed murderer, and then it turned out that she was killed by, the <laughs> again, may maybe the pressure of the fame or something like that, but I have a harder time kind of, like, imagining what, like, you know, again, if they're all exaggerated, what really happened with that one, but I, I'm sure we can figure it out if I sink this fucking bank shot here. <laughs> 
All right, now we're... Okay, this is... I mean, we went through here in the uh, story. Here's Sven's workshop. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> Yo, here's the dragon slide. So we know what happened here, right? This was great grandpa, and he died building this. And clearly, obviously, he was a, you know, an avid woodworker. And also, it looks like he made these, uh, what do you call these? Not wood burnings. Not, or wood carving. I guess you could do wood carving or on or wood burning on this, but... What I, we saw, uh, Edie was mate was painting uh, our brother on that. Yeah, she could have just been murdered, and they just dramatized it up. It could have just been like a murderer on Halloween or something. Carrying packages. Maybe she was hiding presents. Ooh, anybody in the fridge? Oh, a door in the fridge. She was hiding a lot more than that. Airbnb. Uh, <laughs> Airbnb picture. Doorway through the fridge. Everybody, every single person who looks at the listing is like, the fuck is that? <laughs> this was us with those elevators. I can't see anything in here. Here we go. It's dark. Jesus I Christ. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Okay. And so Walter was the youngest of these. No. Yeah. He was the youngest of the kids. I go. I guess it goes left to right in order there. Down the tree. On, on all of them. It does so on the... On our family tree too. He said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Okay. Down into the fucking... <laughs> if there's a pattern in all these stories... Where were the twins during that night? Um... I don't know, maybe they were just asleep or something? Maybe they just weren't involved in the story? Because we think Molly, Molly, well, Molly would have already been dead. But Calvin and Sam, when, let's see, Barbara, if Barbara died in 1960, they would have been alive still. And they were probably just asleep. Not important, maybe just to the story. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Okay. Jesus, was he? Did he have like an apocalypse bunker down here? This is clearly a bunker. <laughs> he had like a fucking what do you call this? A like what do you call it? A doomer? <laughs> what? What is? There's a name for this, right? A prepper? Prepper, right? Doomsday prepper? Yeah. He became that maybe after she died. Because he would have been eight. And he also lived until 2005. Ooh, was he living in here while we were here then? <laughs> That's disquieting. Oh, well, I guess if Edith, uh, Edie came down here with packages, maybe he was just living down here that whole time. As just like a recluse or something. Oh, and here's the train from his like original room. Oh my god. This is the portrait of a 50-year-old man. 53-year-old man. Yeah, he moved down here. Oh no, and painted painted a scenic view for himself. <laughs> this this part is fucked. 
Yeah, I think that's what that is what happened. It's because she said that he got a, you know got as far away as he could or whatever. I know his book is right there. I just wanted to like see if this was this seems maybe the way to progress. So I guess I have to look at this first. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a <laughs> He thought the apocalypse was, ha was happening up here, maybe? Alright, gonna eat my canned beans, baby. Hell yeah. After a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. Ugh, what are those canned peaches? Yeah, it looks like it. This one, I'm stuck on the peaches. This is his routine. <laughs> this is his. This is what he does every day. Did we? Wait, did it tick off a day on the calendar? Yeah, and learning. Let, let me tell you, when you're a kid and you don't know how to do fucking anything, I you have no fucking idea how to use a can opener until someone tells you. Okay, so he's clearly like, oh, it ticked off a decade. Okay, he's clearly like paranoid down here. Almost friendly. It seems like. Yep, yep, eating my peaches. Yep. Everything just. All right, 2005. Stop. Thinking about those beans. Does um. Is there anything else that happened in 2005? Again, if if um, <clears throat> if Edie was bringing in packages down here, though, I guess maybe they had some level of interaction. But maybe she was also like, just you know, f feeding his delusion or something. <laughs> It doesn't. I'm nothing else I'm seeing here jumps out as like corresponding to this year, though. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Look, and the music is kind of like maybe the music of the times too. Waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. been a week now the longest in 30 years I'm done waiting here we go he's, he's breaking I free while well, I still can all the this whole spice rack and all this guy did was eat peaches for <laughs> 30 entire years Do we ever figure out what happened to Edith Finch? I think we're going to find out at the end of the game, because right now Edith Finch is reading a book about her fucking relative Walter, the guy who moved into a bunker after his sister got murdered. Somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Hmm. Molly. Yeah, I guess this makes sense. This is the the curse. And Calvin. About to knock this wall down. Ooh, what? Oh God, this is my garbage pit. This was under the house. <laughs> all right, no, let's not think about that. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. 
single week. Or a day in the train. Ralter. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Yeah, here we go. Well, that one was short, this. sweet, and fucked. I can't believe my mom never told me he was dead. Yeah. Hmm. I was just thinking about things. <laughs> I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Yeah, there. that's right. He was the mole man. It was real. This, this is, this shit is crazy. Do we think maybe she painted this for him? They must have had some connection. Yeah, well, I think that it's possible that the shaking was just like his paranoia. Um, or his, you know, the manifestation of his fear. And then when it stopped was, you know, his, when he found his resolve and he decided to leave and then died. Oh, yeah, I guess it could also have been the train. Where are the train tracks? I guess they would have been... Well, he, I guess he, he broke out of the wall into the train tunnel. So maybe if there, if there was a train running through then he would have been able to hear it in here for sure. I don't know why the train would have just stopped, but maybe one day just didn't go by or something. But he didn't think it was a train. It doesn't sound like. But it probably that is probably what it was. So I guess like that is that one feels like that could have just been what happened. Other than, I guess, maybe, like, breaking out of... I can't see fucking anything in here. <laughs> I can't see shit about fuck in this. <laughs> Am I just wandering into the dark? Okay. I made it. Was this on the ground like this before? Yeah, it was. It's getting dark, though. It's getting dicey out there. These are the stairs, right? Um, alright, did I get something down there, though? It didn't let me go into the little bunker, or like, you know, like down into the tunnel where it, he was. I wonder if we can, we couldn't have gone... Let's see. I mean, there's obviously this room. Could I have gone up on the third floor yet? Now it's getting spooky. I also may need to notch the brightness up now because even though it's atmospheric, and it's a little brighter on the stream than it is on this. Okay, even though it's atmospheric, I kind of can't see. Um, the Don Gus Gregory generation, though, we like really, I don't know if we're even going to necessarily learn about them because they don't really have like a place in the house. It seems like again, what it like, what it seems like to me is that Sam left and these kids were born. Well, no, except that Kay, ch Kay his, his first wife, we said changed the bathroom so I, maybe they could have just visited or something. It didn't look like it would let me take the Walter hole, but maybe I was just interacting with it the wrong way. I tried to go down it. It seems like maybe he left and these this Don Gus Gregory Jen was maybe born. I mean, they still the Gregory only lived one year though. Um, maybe they lived in the house too. I guess we'll find out. And then maybe we came back to take care of uh, Edie. Is sort of what I'm thinking. Because she would have been pretty old by the time we were little, you know, even little kids. 
All right, let's go in the hole. I mean, that makes the most sense. It just didn't seem like it would let me go in it. I gotta navigate back through this fucking room that I can't see anything in. <laughs> I sure hope uh, Marguerite Baker doesn't jump out and try to fucking jump scare my ass. I don't know, maybe we, we may not have even been supposed to have gone back up there anyway. Maybe that was my, like, to hinder me uh, from going back, was make the hallway as dark as fucking possible. Oh, okay. I swear I tried this. Like, I, I swear I tried it again after uh, we saw the thing. Because I don't think it would it would, wouldn't let me come down here before. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... <laughs> what else didn't she tell us? Can imagine what else she was hiding? <laughs> My uncle was I down don't here. I make the same mistakes she made. Thank you, trash pit. Who fucking dug this out? Do we think that Walter did this down here, like, all on his own? Did he build this addition to the house? <laughs> and who built his little, like, train car home? Did they build it for him, do we think? Or maybe it was already there. Trying to bury something that's still alive. All right, now I'm on the tracks. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. Hey, what was my brother's name? Morley Milton. <laughs> this time I heard the stories from my Morley. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Hmm. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We made it real. They were their own undoing. Aw. Oh, seven, Ralter. This is so cool, though. He loved trains. This is where I've been wanting to go all game, is down here by the ocean I don't know if I should even be writing this Yo, she's writing her own one right now also. Do we get have we got that yet? Have we have we picked that up? Except I guess she was on the boat off like on the way out at the beginning. Maybe the boat will sink. And she'll and then she'll sink down in the boat and she'll like go into the old house that sunk under Maybe the water. It'd be better if all this just died with me. Sure hope that was motion sent, motion activated. <laughs> but I thought you should know about your family. Oh, who are we writing this to? We got like a fucking what? What the hell is this? Oh, this was what was he was making this in the garage in uh, Barbara's story, right? This is a totem pole of them, the I guess. You're a part of. Who is she writing this to then? Teenage pregnancy? We do. Do we have. Is that a little baby bump? Teen pregnancy? <laughs> it kind of looks like it could be. I'm not trying to call her out here or anything. Baby bump? <laughs> this shit is crazy. That's what remains. <laughs> Would you want a totem pole of... Oh, look, and it is, like... Here's... This is the swing. That would be, um... What the fuck is his name? C. Calvin. Maybe? These might be the, the ones that died. When they were doing that. Molly the owl, <laughs> who turned into a bird. Calvin on the swing. 
And then we just added old Barb here. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, there's the crutch. He's got it all figured out. Totem pole of my dead kids, yep. <laughs> Totem pole of my deceased children, yep. Because <laughs> we think Sven crafted that, right? <laughs> that shit is... Just, that's, that shit is dire. <laughs> Incredible handiwork, though. Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Nah, I got this all figured out. Mother. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Because there's nothing over here. Take a quick breather here. Walking for two after all. Isn't that right, uh, Kazuichi? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> they call him one joke snack. He only has one joke left. Laugh. <laughs> Total pull my offspring. Whom? Uh, Total pull my off. Fuck, it's so hard to say. Total pull my off. Total pull. Total pull of my offspring. Say that five times quickly. Total pull of my offspring. Whom stuff outlived due to eerily coincidental tragedies. Yep. <laughs> I did not have sexual relations with the wind. The wind. So there's the swing. Is that the swing? Is that the swing? This reminds me of that area you go down in Dark Souls. <laughs> that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Who knows? Who knows what I'm talking about? What area is this in Dark Souls? I'm not going to elaborate on it at all. Yeah, it was. It was Dark Group Basin. Any of it seems possible. We went down there so many times. Sometimes there's just a dark energy. We never really saw what the fuck was up with this tower in the house, though, did we? I didn't, like, run up that as the cat or anything, really. Because the cat would have come along this way, right? Into this, this tree house. Yeah, here's the, this is where the swing was. Take my picture for the Airbnb. Um, but the tower is still a mystery, I think. Oh, well, that's got to be what's the what the third floor is, right? I'm going up on that fucking third floor. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? No. Oh, oh, we're going, we're going down to Odin. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but here we the go, pet baby. Cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. <laughs> this is eerie. Oh, Shotzi. My dad had a dog named Shotzi. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. <gasps> Not Coco! <laughs> Which of these pets, like, lived the longest? Zoe? Was Zoe a gerbil? Eight years? A long-ass time. Do we think that was a gerbil, though? Derpy and Derpy Jr. <laughs> Burpy, Chirpy, Furpy, Lurpy, Rurpy. What, what animal do you think these were? Well, we know Lucy was obviously a dog. Where is, uh, let's find Molly's grave. Bailey. Frago. 
Where's Molly the cat? Bob, Shadow, Shotzi, fucking Christopher. <laughs> we saw, we almost ate Christopher. Where's Molly the cat? Maybe Molly lived? Maybe Molly's still alive? Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Here's Molly Finch the human. Ten. Good old Calv. What does this mean? Hub knit Fidek. <laughs> Hora <laughs> inst undig. Hun it B. Huck. Puffed. I could sit here forever. Edith Finch. Wait. E D I T H. Edith Funk. B, U, and K are the only letters that are on this book that aren't in the name of Edie, of Edith Finch. Edith, maybe it stands for Edith Finch book. Good old Walter just got a rock. Oh. <gasps> This is his freedom. Look. This is the freedom he sought. Another word down the right side of the book. Bitch. <laughs> BTC. This one's good. And Barbara got her, her 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 star. She got her stardom. Yeah, I mean, it could be bite. What if we broke off the letters and spelled fuck? It's like a crossword puzzle. And it isn't at all. <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, so look, these are the ones that died in the house. We've seen all these. <laughs> see for it. Do we see more words? I see knit. Knit is clearly there. Maybe she bit off. She died by biting her tongue while she was knitting. Moving on. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. This shit's crazy. <laughs> Do we think she carved this? So this is Edie and Sven, I think. And that's Odin she going see it poking out of the water down with his house. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Like, cause this was real. This happened. This is the most un one of the more unbelievable things in this entire story. This man sailed a house. No, I want to go out to it. Why am I turning around here? Oh, maybe I have to turn around here. Well, I want to go down here. What's this? Oh yeah, here we go, baby. Take a little look. See at this. Yo, Will. Hell yeah. I want to try a vampire Edie survivor she still. About the old house every night. Every night? I guess that's maybe to alert ships that there's a fucking house in the water here. That is... Cr this is crazy. Super cool, though. Like, just visually. Bad. Yeah. Um, you're telling me that this man made it this far offshore? I don't know. I would have simply swam the rest of the way. 
and carried my house with me. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. Here she we go. She was just trying to do better. Here's the rest of the fam of the cemetery we haven't seen yet. So this is Grandpa. Again, Gus. No, one of these kids. Yeah, Gregory died. Gregory lived one year. And those are these are her two brothers next to him. Mom's brothers, my uncles. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. And Sanjay, I guess, is my dad, right? What, what did Lewis like? What the fuck is this, a crown? What, was he a king? We saw that picture of Lewis. Was he a king? <laughs> and, we, and then, obviously, Milton likes painting graffiti <laughs> with his Mario Sunshine brush because it's all over the fucking house. All right, Milt. We never found Are you alive? Body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Now I'm about to find it in the next hour. She pats it on the pats him on the tombstone. Sit tight, Milt. We're gonna get you out. <laughs> You mean the baby. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. It really feels like she didn't want that, but maybe in, maybe it's in some way she did. I thought this was the ladder. Uh, oh, there is a ladder. <laughs> I was like, I swear I saw a ladder. <laughs> but looking back on it now. This shit owns, too. This is so cool. I might stay. I'm just, <laughs> just being honest. Even with the curse so oppressive in the house, I might stay. Yeah, I think the gloves are going to be big. Also, we definitely had a cast in the beginning. Um, so maybe we, we break our arm at some point trying to escape. She or told me there was going to be so much climbing. Maybe I'm about to fall out of a tree right now. Come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Yes! He's a genius. Or it remains to be to Finch. Kazuichi. Also, I mean, that would feel like that was pretty obvious, but... <laughs> Edith, baby. Milk carton. Thank you, America. Um, where am I going from here? Can you guys see? It looks like it, now it looks darker on your end than it is on my end. Do we need? Do you need me to turn the brightness up? If we're going back in the house, we might want to. How am I getting back in the house? It's fine. Okay. Maybe I'm just jumping down here. Oh, there we go, I see. Just, like, hadn't caught the light in the right way. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. This is a nice little spot, too. We got a little grill out here. <laughs> Come on, now. This is a super nice little spot. I would sit out here all the time and read my fucking manga and play on my 3DS. They were both pretty intense. 
All right, here we go. Um, so this checks out because we know Sam was already into hunting and taxidermy and that kind of stuff. <laughs> the picks that go raw. <laughs> the hunter. And I think this picture was in their room as children, too. I guess that's Calvin. Oh, that's she's marking the door. We saw that. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. Yeah, this guy has... One, all right, one. This is the man who hung Ameri every American flag we've seen in the home. Uh, <laughs> and all a man who has said many slurs, for sure. You're telling me this guy, this dude has a grill on the porch. <laughs> he sits out here and smokes on the porch and also grills out up here sometimes on his own. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Nice bed, though. I got a little... This is just like a house cat. Molly? There were two things I could have looked at. I just want to see what else was over here. Uh, K. Okay, that's the wife. Where were we going, Samuel? I can't read that. That's too small. Look, he had the fucking... This guy, he had the CRT before the CRT, Will. Um, there was another thing I could look at, right? He had the BRT. <laughs> Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Yo. He killed this bear with his own hands. This bear that, like, this is, this is not a real bear rug. This shit is so fucking fake. Like, you look at the, this is a real deer, uh, mount. <laughs> the, he bought this bear rug at fucking Bass Pro. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this shit this shit costed like four hundred dollars and it's the, the fakest bear of all time <laughs> is this was this the only thing you could look at I guess so I mean well let's read I guess let's read the book of Sam or the envelope of Sam oh here we go what the fuck is this I hate this one. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Snackers, stackers. All right, this is my mom. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip. Oh, hunting mom. trip. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Oh, that's me. What? Or that's her, I mean. I think that was maybe her, him waking her up dead ass early in the morning to go hunting. Yo, the Finch branded rifle though is kind of raw. I'm not gonna lie. We got everything we need. Yeah, we got propane. <laughs> the Finch family is a propane family. Um, all right, what else am I looking at here? It's too early, here we Dad. go. Yeah. I'm not looking down a scope. Oh god, it's a picture. Oh my god, I thought I shot Don. <laughs> and then I blew, splattered my daughter's brains out all over the windshield. <laughs> Inside the windshield. <laughs> that just scared me. <laughs> oh, it's a camera. <laughs> Alright, well, look, we're filling out the Airbnb photos right now, guys. Look at her reading. Never forget this weekend, Dad. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> this shit's crazy. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? This is inventive, though. Careful. The camera's older than you are. 
Um, wait, 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 who was the, um, was it Sam who liked the photography? Was he the one that had the little photography nook also? Or was that, an, was that one of our others? Okay, it was. All right. I didn't know if maybe he, like, inherited that from... Oh, hello, uh, cursed bird. Hey, my dad, it's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. Yo, I got two there. Wildlife photog extraordinaire. Look at this cool-ass little island. Uh, this is cool. I like this. We're, like, telling the story through pictures I'm taking. I have control of the story. Yo. You guys, one of my goals in 2020... Uh, yeah, we gotta get that slow, bro. One of my goals in 2024 is to buy a kayak. There's a ton of places to kayak around here. And even though I don't really have a place to put it... Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. I, uh, I want one. I think it would be fun. Okay, that's dad's walk. Was he just pissing back there? Take a picture of my dad pissing on this tree. Hey! Escape pissing. <laughs> that's a keeper. Yo, goodbye, Aerie. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. <laughs> You're gonna have to learn how to survive on your own, uh, Don. Just like your Uncle Walter, who still lives with us underneath the house. Last time I was with what, Dad? <laughs> I mean, nothing. <laughs> that was a great trip. I mean, don't worry about that. Your Grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. Yeah, the moral oral trip. camping trip episode. Everywhere. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. I'm about to spot a buck right now. I mean, now I have to do this. It seems they still want me to listen to the story. What do we got here? Hunting season? Let's see. Maybe. You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. <laughs> now this isn't how you progress the story, kiddo. Try something else. Okay, Dad. There we go. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of that deer was Simbaing. Um here we go. Oh my god. Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Don't flinch when I blow off the flash here and it's like, <laughs> Dad! Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you need to be strong. <laughs> if you want to survive, you need to kill this deer. Yo, look, that time it Great was the gun. Shot, Don. <laughs> but beaned his ass. <laughs> Oh god, she went out there on the fucking. <laughs> this is awesome. Nah, this owns Will. I'm sorry. Look at her crying over the deer out on that fucking cliff while this guy takes the worst selfie of all time. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> oh my god. God, oh god, I'm being him now. <laughs> like, just, Sorry, Don, just gotta wait, the fuck, fuck. Hold on. <laughs> this is really funny. Can I? Here we go. 
here. Oh, is this sh oh fuck, is this shit on? Oh god, wait, Don, Don, hold on, it's good, it's about to go up. Look at him running. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Throw up the peace signs. Dad, it it's twitching. No, I just gotta snap his neck like this. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Oh my god. Well, we saw that coming, right? My uh, my college roommate had that happen to him once. He's a big hunter. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. We didn't even know about that until right now. She probably felt like it was her fault. But really, it was not. Why the fuck would you take a picture with a deer out on a... <laughs> First of all, that's a... I mean, that, I mean, I guess it makes sense because to take a picture of a deer... Uh, like, like if you, if you shot a deer and killed a deer out on that, out on that rock or something, you, you do have to take a picture of that, right? Like that's, that is like a one in a million, like that doesn't happen to anybody. Uh, but <laughs> highly unsafe, <laughs> absolutely unsafe. Hey, that one was crazy. I like that, though. That was interesting. Alright, do we think we can cap Gus, Don, and Gregory, and Lewis, and Milton in the next 25 minutes? I'm up to the task. No, we're going over. We're finishing this tonight, you guys. Um, hold on, am I still going through the house this way? Down in the little hidey hole room. Oh yeah, right across the ceiling. We pass, we're climbing through the ceiling, passing Sachan in here. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. What is this little baby gate? I guess that makes sense. Like, Sam would have been her last, like, her one child that lived to, like, adulthood, right? That had kids and everything. Oh, here we go. These are the uncles. Yeah, the one-year-old little, look at this little ass. Oh, God, that's sort of a grotesque picture, but. I guess this makes, this was this was there oh, this is this is a fucking cool room too this i think we're in the tower now this must have been like an the addition to the house that i made for like you know when when the grandchildren were born for Edie. teamwork respect these are the the three core jump principles strength respect and teamwork uh. look they all had little lockers this is kind of cute this pole right in the middle of the... Uh, oh, I guess this is like maybe you, you slide down that. That's fun. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet... This is what Gus looked like. All right, let's get the knife out of the way. What happened to the one-year-old baby? No. All right, this is the divorce of Sam and Kay. What's interesting about, um, did we see another death after, well, I don't know. It's hard to say. It feels like the deaths are getting more realistic. Like, Molly's was clearly, like, again, Mo <laughs> Molly's, Molly's is, was a crazy one to begin with. That was definitely a strong opener. Um... But I mean, like again, if that you know, if we're saying that that was like more of a more kind of a hallucinogenic had like that kind of element to it, 
Everything else seems like it, you know, feasibly like could have happened. You know, it could be more straightforward than that. But again, when she's talking about, you know, like the stories of like, you know, that the family believed, it seems like clearly the like the the further down the like the family tree line they got, the more like in touch with reality kind of they became. All right, what are we looking at here? Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was no. happening, but only he could see it. Baby. Here we go. Me, 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 go, 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 go. The rest of us don't. Well, he was one, so. Oh, he was, he could see the music. He was a Mozart. Oh, this is fun for us. Boop. Over, Gregory. It's time to Yo, Kay was a baddie. <laughs> Stupid. No, don't leave him in the tub. Uh oh, here we go. Is this? He saw a ducky. Ducky flota. Here we go. What his world was like. <laughs> well, he was one, so blurry, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Lacking an <in> object permanence. <laughs> Lost in his imagination. This is fun, though. It's gonna be sad, though. Whatever it was, he saw. Where should we jump the frog? Let's see if I can jump him up here. Oh, yeah. I'm on top of the way. I think this is... I think this one's from uh, Friday the 13th, I think, actually. This is so fun for me. I'm gonna get on that whale again. Oh yeah! All my friends is in the bathtub today. Splish splash, I was taking a bath, baby. What do the words say? Okay. We're going up there, I think. Oh, what is that? Is it like maybe soap or suds or something? That's got to be like the bad. Yeah, here we go. Oh no. What is this? Bubble bubble bath? Well, this seems still harmless. No. Fuck. He got spirited away. I know you did everything you could. Is he gonna go down the drain? Damn it. I am on the edge of my seat right now. He's one. Frog is still out here. Oh no. Oh no. I wish you could have told us. Oh come on now. About the world he saw. No man. <laughs> An evil frog drowned the baby. That was the world he saw. There's so much I don't understand. Oh here we go, baby. <laughs> yes! I was a frog. What? Oh, here we go. This is raw. 
Look, we're still in the bathtub world. Yeah, he grabbed this thing and turned the bath back on, and she wasn't paying attention because she was getting divorced, probably. She prob They probably got divorced at... Was, th was this baby born and died before the other baby? No. A frog snuck in through the window and turned the water on. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that one. All right, I need, I'm gonna need to look at the timeline on this one again, but let's hear Edith talk first, because we know she's fucking going to. Frog baby. Yeah, okay, so they must have, well, who was Don was born first? Hold on, no, no, Gregory was born first. No, Gus, no, Gregory was born last. Gregory is just like a awful, horrible thing that happened after other tragedies occurred even. He was with her. Okay, so they they must have gotten divorced probably after the you know the grief of losing Gus, I would imagine. Maybe they were together with they had Don and Gus, and then they had Gregory, but they got divorced, and she kept Gregory went with her. That's probably what happened. Why would we keep his? I guess this is all his little baby stuff. You fucking frog! You did this. You did this, you frog. It doesn't seem as though he remarried, though. I am looking at those dates, right? Because it's clearly it seems like Greg, she, he, and Kay had Gregory together, and he's the youngest. We knew that they were divorced. Oh, a this one's for creative. Who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. What? Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Maybe, oh, hold on, maybe he did remarry then. I'm a little confused on this. We'll, we'll figure it out, though. I guess his first wife, you would assume that, I guess what I'm serious saying now, that means that he would have remarried. To have a, to, you know, to have a, a first wife, you also have to have a second wife. But it seems that they would, that, I mean, this could be after, though. He died in 1982. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this maybe was the day that they, he died on the day they got remarried? Or the day that his, that his dad got remarried? What does this say also? I just, it threw me off because Gregory was one. <laughs> but that makes sense. They split, and then... You know, obviously Don and Gus were still there, and this is him getting married again to someone else. Uh, he'd never meet her. Yeah, okay. Though he'd never met her. He never met her? Look at his little... <laughs> this kid was... This kid was raw. He had the little, uh, mohawk. And the little, uh... He's got the little, like, dog collar bracelet thing. Little spiked bracelet. This kid was badass. Hey, where am I flying this, by the way? Oh. Disturbing totem pole. Fire hydrant. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. I wonder if this is going to fall on him. Because we know that this falls eventually. Maybe the the kite... Yeah, the kite gets roped around the totem pole, possibly. Lovely place for a wedding, though. Not a great day for it. And also, this looks a little bit like the... <laughs> this looks... Listen, I've seen a little of it. This... I'm going to be real. This shit looks like the beach where you fight the boss at the end of the Bloodborne DLC. Like... <laughs> This shit looks pretty fucking eldritch. 
Uh, but, you know, lovely, you know, view at least for a wedding. Not a great day, though. And also, you know, a little fucking horrific, but... Yeah, we're in Innsmouth. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. That's over here. Yo, look, and Odin watched it all. I can't lie, I thought I maybe would get some words off the tent. Oh, maybe they're moving in still. Oh, this is where we were supposed to have had the ceremony, it looks like. Oh, this is raw. Oh, come on, it's a nice tent. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. <laughs> come on, Dad. And you left your son out here playing with a kite? He Maybe he gets struck by lightning. Though this seems to be like a rope. Kite? Would a rope conduct it like that? Oh my god. Oh no, here we go. This is gonna knock the totem pole over. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Yo. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. <laughs> or? Until we found you. Damn. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Oh. And he wrote this poem? His wind superpowers are beyond control. She wrote this poem. This rules. <laughs> the experience of, uh, after her brothers died. The experience of what remains of Edith Finch is, far away she could get. is going through a sequence of the most tragic, like, family demise of all time, interspersed with, oh, this house fucking owns. <laughs> like, <laughs> stories of misfortune and death interspersed with, nah, I would stay. This is the coolest fucking house of all time. <laughs> They take you through some cool shit every single time you go between uh, deaths of a family member. Yo, here we go, baby. Look, she went to India and she met good old Sanjay. It looks like maybe she did some, like... This looks like maybe charity work or mission. I, we saw a Bible here, right? Maybe this was missionary stuff. That's repulsive, but also cute. I think that must be a uh, baby. Oh, and there's uh, look, cause there's his little mohawk. Nice. Uh, I mean, listen, if both your brothers fucking died. Oh, look! Oh my God! <laughs> what year is this? 1986. <laughs> look at her hoodie. We gotta look she at this. She spent the summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad. Sonia. Okay. Look, she's got one of those little, uh... You know, like, that's a hood... Oh, it might be, like, um... Uh, like an Indian, like, uh... Headdress, or, you know, whatever you call that. That maybe makes more sense. I think she's wearing a sick red and black hoodie, though. She got that shit at Hot Topic. Except they didn't have that in 1986. Or did they? She's Look at these little... What do you? What did you call these notebooks? 
I had so many of these back in the day. Composition book. She she got the she got the <laughs> she got the snake robe. Helping hands create safe places, Coach. I want to go to India. Friedith Soul Finch. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. All right, let me look at this first then. I bet this is her story Religion in the Bible. Was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Oh, okay. Guess not. This is the most like little slice of like 80s Well, when she was a kid, how old was she? Yeah, like 80s teenager room. This little loft corner. This is where she slept also. Not comfortable. Well, she would have been... She would have been a teenager in the 80s. Yeah. Lewis was born a year later. Milton is missing. When my dad... Yeah, I guess... Well, she would have been 20 when Lewis was born. But I guess it's right after they... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I guess we kind of have our answer. She went to and lived in India for some time. And then she sure probably came back. And started taking care of Edie. Oh, more children who died. Not my brothers and sisters. Mint, thyme, sage, basil. Where are they on the family tree? <laughs> oh, and here, oh, these are our little gardens, I guess. Milton, what happened here? Kids in the house again. My garden was badass. I was cultivating them vines. What are you, little man? The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Who built this addition then? <laughs> Was when was when did Sven die? I don't think I have a Sven. Uh, Sven doesn't have a story. But I bet we could have found out when. Oh my God! Is this school? We were homeschooled. Well, I guess that checks out. Except, why the fuck would you write their? <laughs> Our deceased relatives names on these flat these are the this is the, well this is a big family you got and you there's a lot of deaths to memorize so we did flashcards <laughs> Molly flip it over turned into a squid beast and and died <laughs> ate myself okay got that one that one's pretty easy to remember all right Sam <laughs> the quiz about your family's death. Lewis rules. That one picture we saw of Lewis, I feel, painted quite a picture of him also. He was like a party boy, I think. Or he had a he had like a rebellious streak too. Alright, I guess we were homeschooled. Is this the little gerbil? That maybe was where it was kept. Yo, classification. Come on, we're not teaching phylogeny here. Yo, uh, who's... <laughs> see, look, she made a fucking... She made a... What do you call this again? What do you call these? These, like, poor poster board? No. There's there's a, such a word for this that I'm not trying to... Or that I'm fucking... There's a word for this that I literally can't think of. But she made a... She basically did a history project on her fucking deceased... Uh, Odin, great great grandfather. Triboard? Maybe. Poster board? 
There is a word for it, right? I mean, I guess maybe it is just poster board. I definitely made a science project or, or uh, you know, a couple, did a couple projects or two on these back in the day. Nowadays, kids just use PowerPoint <laughs> and AI generate the art that goes onto it. I don't know what this bit is, you guys. Well, well, looks like Edith's the only one who turned in her homework. And Riz GPT. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. There's Sanj, and there's me as a little baby. Hee <laughs> hee. Don Finch is kind of a scotch to teach and to learn. <laughs> I have I have I have pickled my own brain. I think. <laughs> oh fuck! What reminds me of Finch? When Edie gave him a castle. Needing a poster board the night before. Oh, Will. Yeah, that's true. I definitely... I, I've had... I had definitely had projects like that. This shit is so fucking cool. God, it, it goes way up there, too. Who built all this? Was Sven alive? When did Sven die? He must have done it, right? Except you'd imagine this was all built after we came back. Maybe Sanjay and... Uh, Don built it? Sven, I think, would have been dead by now. Because Edie would have been alone. I was, I saw these, uh, these, this, like, the handles here on the window, and I was gonna be like, ugh, gamers these days, fucking, gotta put yellow paint on everything. Game developers don't trust us anymore. I think we are going in here, though. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, is this Milton Zone? He did, like, his art, like, looks like this, right? Gamer Footprints. This, like, this room is also... What the fuck is this? This is maybe, looks like a school? Architect room. This room has, like, a whole pallet. This is like the Banksy room. <laughs> Banksy room. Yeah, this is Milton's room. Gotta be. Well, I mean, now we know, but I, what I mean, what I... <laughs> gotta be Milton's room. <laughs> What I was saying is, that's who I, th it's the rumor I thought it was before we got up here, too. Milton was a Banksy type. Milt, you're still alive, right? Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. What if this ends with, and I'm right behind you, and it pops up and he's back there. Yeah, he, look, yeah, he has a little, his little logo. Okay, I can't... How do I... It looks like it was a flip book, but I couldn't figure out how to flip it. Oh, there we go. Uh... There we go. Alright, draw. Uh-oh, uh-oh, inaccurate, uh-oh. Oh, I guess she's got her thumb in it where it would be. I, this is hard for me to follow. Okay, there's the paintbrush. Now we're drawing. Now here's myself drawing my flip book. <laughs> the, f the flip book within my flip book is drawing this door thing. Oh my god, is he going through the door? <laughs> Draw my Looney Tunes doorway that I just went in and disappeared. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if I can go through it. I'll draw him like the little. Yeah, cute. Uh, he looks like Doug. Oh my god. I wonder if I can interact with Mom's the thing now. Searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Knock knock, you hoo. Heron's lit. 
Yeah, that's I think that's what happened. Whatever Milton had found in the house, mom didn't want it getting out. And these days, you wouldn't even be able to draw Wiley e. Coyote Tunnel because Warner Brothers kept the finished Coyote vs. Acme movie and didn't even release it. <laughs> what, was the, what was this game's creator's first game? Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. No, we're about to go to Lewis' zone. Oh, Unfinished Swan. No, I didn't play that. We should, though. We can Maybe we can go backwards. I also heard that one was good. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Hmm. I guess Unfinished Swan kind of has, like, a black and white vibe like that, right? This room is so fucking cool! It's like a space tower. <laughs> and his, look, and look, his is like a, you know, like a boat. Which also is super fucking cool, but I think it's meant to sort of conjure the imagery of like a fish cannery. Which is where he worked. That's his personality, fish, cans. Can I make this jump? Yo, I can put this on my media thread, I just remembered. Pardon me. <laughs> you can't draw a tunnel on the wall to trick your enemies this day. Why? Because woke. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. Oh, he's got the, the, um, the hookah. I thought, what was it? I think it was, yo, marijuana. <laughs> this owns. <laughs> this is the gamer zone. Smoking my hookah in my boathouse room. In my boat room. This is awesome. Look, he had little chairs up here. I bet I would sit up here with him sometimes. And San Juan Ale. This 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 shit is cool as fuck. Oh my god, gamer! <laughs> That's why he's the goat. <laughs> he has the what? What is it? What are they calling this? The Wonderland Turbo with the classic PS One. You'd think that gamers making games would know what a games looks like, but. We've got the, like, <laughs> Wii classic controller here. <laughs> Playing off the Wonderland Turbo that also looks like a PS1. Candle right on the VCR. <laughs> yeah, candle melted onto the VCR. <laughs> Pass a Dutchy button left hand side. Stupid. Getting high and laughing about a dachi. Here we go. Here's the weed. The hookah is just for, you know, aesthetic and taste. This is raw. All right, what do we, what, okay. This is his letter. I guess there's nothing else in here. For, oh, I got to look at the video games, Lewis though. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was so bad at them. He died a lot. He could never get past Crash 1. He's playing, playing Crash 1. Dude, this is my fucking house! <laughs> and it looks like he had... No, god damn it! Yeah, a finch? Died? Nah, come on. Uh, is there a TV? Maybe he's a Will. Maybe a TV in the closet. TV in the fridge? Where is the TV? That's such a good question. Oh, here we go. Except you know there's going to be latency on this TV. Whoa, what were we looking at, Sis? The flag. Uh, this is India, right? He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. I 
from Norway to Seattle. Norway to Washington to India. We're crushing it out here, Finches. I'm glad we're all still around. We're crushing it out here, Finches, she says to her tummy. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Nearly oh my so God, what the I fuck? Lewis oh. first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Here we go, it's the fish. All right, chop the head, toss it out. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... What am I, uh, getting something out of here? Eh. And to maybe put my hand under, is that what it's wanting me to do? Uh, maybe there's another button I can press. Whoa, hold on. That was something. Wonder. Here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm playing a little game. Oh, he's he is gonna cut his fucking hand off on this on this fish chopper though. No way that's not gonna happen. This is really cool though. I'm multitasking here. Gaming in his mind. He's doing the on. He's playing Mind Frogger. Going left, kid. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. To feel his way about. I'm staying top path. Then something moved. Okay, I'm going, I'm going low path then. Bats. <gasps> and toads. <gasps> if they want me to fight a boss in this, I will rise to the challenge. Yo. And things that have not names. Oh my God, Eldritch horrors. He knew it was all in fish. Uh, maybe I have to. Maybe this is the fish gate. Yeah, there we go. He took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Oh my god, raw! I worried about him then. A whole game within fish chopping game. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Yo. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. We are we are getting again. We are getting dangerously close to uh, again me not being able to see fucking anything, and my hand right next to this fish head chopper. I love this. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Oh my god. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Oops. I need to throw this one. No, oh, Steiner. <laughs> good old Lewis Topia. And you need anyone in any I'm the mayor of this good town. Decisions. Anyone need any fish heads chopped? Oh look at my little fellas! Oh my god, the homies. Then he made the homies. Us. And songs for them to play. This is yeah, this is absolutely a Comb 71 jam. He talked about starting a band. Us, us, us. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He 
no longer spoke at the cannery. But his trotting was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. No. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. <laughs> he created politics. Why would you ever? And he won. Oh, okay. Well, at least that that works out then. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. He was going west. It became a game for him. Oh my god. This one just goes. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewis. Mine. New Louisville. Oh, Lou. St. Louis. St. Louis. St. <laughs> Perucci. He started drifting away from our reality. He invented St. Louis in his mind. He invented King O' Land. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Oh my god, he's- oh my god, he just stayed chopping fish in his head forever. This one is crazy. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Uh, oh, a handsome queen, gotta be. Handsome queen. I'm going green. Compatible boys. Oh, this one's already defished. Yeah, you can choose him to be gay. The queen was on her own quest for. Uh, sinister serpents, I think. Sinister serpents. Oh. The sound of her. Oh, we know he followed that electric sitar. Electric sitar. Whoops, I missed one. He followed the last of us song. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh god, I can't even see it anymore. <laughs> Lewis! Lewis! It was all in his imagination. Three fish at once? Who's working the fucking line today? <laughs> but he was so proud of having created it. And I go. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Look Someone at me like walking like I shit my pants down the lane. It was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon. No. But the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Yes! Yeah, everybody at the cannery is having their own dream just like this. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> this cannery is... Actually, there was just a gas leak in the cannery continuously for <laughs> an entire, like, year. Everyone in the cannery is on some cool shit. Oh no. Now here I am in the cannery. It's gonna, what if it like, I bet it like cuts me back in or something. Began to forget the world we know. 
My locker with my same pictures, posters in it that are in my room. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. This is maybe just like my next day at the shift, or oh, is that me, Lewis? Oh my God. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. We're back to seeing ourselves. Oh, I don't even have any fish anymore. What is <laughs> Steiner? Here I go. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Base. The palace would be packed with his companions. Look at my like guys here. Look at the homies. Okay, this is a Kermy, please. How's that Molly? Thank you, Molly, for everything. Zebrag seven. His queen waited, holding his crown. Only one thing left to do. Yeah. That's where we're going. <laughs> And that was the crown, remember? That's why he was a king. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us. Remember on the grave? She she wrote the therapist wrote that whole fucking thing out. <laughs> that is insane. My hey, that's really cool. I wish you could have met him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I this feels like they this was the reason the whole game was made to me. <laughs> Do you guys feel me on that one kind of This almost feels like they had this idea and the rest of the game spun off of this. <laughs> but uh that was peak so and I didn't know anything about it. That one had a little close to a little close to home, actually, for me. Just as someone who uh, works a mundane job but is creative, <laughs> as I'm sure for many it would be, uh, to some level, you know. Not that I want to stick my head into a fucking fish chopper. But you know what I'm saying? Yo, smoke in the bowl right here with the double monitor set up. He had the sauce. Yo, are these the games? We gotta look at these. We got Trust Me. The Red King's Dream. Is this him? What games do you think he streamed? I don't know. Danganronpa 2. What Tom? <laughs> Tack. I'm keeping the hookah. That's that's bad for the baby. Well, that is the whole family, guys. What if I was like, well, I think that was it. I guess we call it a night here. We got... I guess we don't have Dawn, though. We don't have Dawn yet. Um, how do I get out of here, then? Oh, there was a way. I guess we gotta get Dawn last. Um, which feels like... Uh, these ones... These last couple ones are interesting, because I would know about these. But I guess, like, maybe she didn't know the whole story, or maybe she's just... Here we go. Oh, where? How do I fucking get out of here? <laughs> or maybe she like, you know, 
She's just sort of going through them all now again. But, but I think she said when Milton died, her mom wouldn't let her go up there, so this could be similar to Lewis's funeral. My mom told me to start packing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. We left the house right after uh, after he she died. Until the day before we left. Tear the family? I might. Oh, that's sad. I'm not it's sure if she wanted to make it easier. Probably gonna be pretty late by the time we're uh we're done, but we could do that on Tearless Night next time we do that. And yeah, so then Yeah, Edie lived a good so we well, she died that year. But she was still alive when we left. We have to find out what remained of her also. You know, what happened to her. Right, this is But I understand why we left. Edith mom. That's me. Right. <laughs> right, Kazuichi. My and mom. Didn't see what happened to Milton. He well, the flip book showed that he went in in the flipbook, he went inside a door that he painted, and, you know, he disappeared. So, we didn't, you know, we we don't know what happened to him. So, it was sort of meant to, like, represent that. Why did Mom even try to fucking pack anything? She didn't pack a single box. Ah. Mom threw all, Mom threw a bunch of packing peanuts around the house and went fuck it and then what just grabbed my hand and we left. Maybe it should have come sooner. Here we go, my room. Bird. Bunny. Are you guys ready for the coolest fucking room probably in the whole game? Yep. It's pretty fucking cool, gotta say. Oh, yo, here's the little... I made a little version of the house out of fucking... Newspaper? We've seen these all over the house, too. There's the... That's the astronaut one. That's... I don't remember. But we've seen these around, the little figures and stuff. Oh, and here's the squid. I'm sure this is one of those games similar to Gone Home, which is a game that's a lot like this, but also not as good as this. Um, uh, similar to that, I'm sure that there are tons of fucking Easter eggs in the house to find. That's sort of the thesis of what that game even really is. Um, you know, even though other, other than that, it sort of tells a story. Uh... You know, as well. That's oh, here's the little guys. Um, really, the thing about that is that there's so much like little extra stuff you can find. She she must. I'm sure she's got something of like of note of every single family member up in the room here. In some way or another, yeah, that might that might be. Uh... We definitely saw this somewhere. We saw the this uh, this little guy in his rain boots. I remember seeing. I don't know. Yep. Getting ski cozy in my old bed, yep. With my gloves. Yeah, the book! Here we go. That whole last day, Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. No. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, no. To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Oh. You know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry. You're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last. I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused.
The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Oh, is this uh, Edie then? Or that Edie had a key to it. Oh my god. Oh no, that's me. This is just what happened that night. isn't going to end when you leave the house. The Sublime Supper. Oh, Tasting Thailand. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. The Sublime Super. Yeah, a hunter's roast. No. Yo. This is a this is an item of insane energy. This is an item possessing such chakra. There's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night. Just look at the, okay, 1999. Bizarre summer. The tide went way, way Oh my God, here we go. Bloodborne. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. We're going in it. An earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. <laughs> smelled like dog shit. I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. No, not stone. Guess I'll go this way. Imagine her out here, like, not knowing where to go. That makes me sad. I started seeing things. <gasps> I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. Well, that was the deer. What is this bed? Did one of them have a thing about a bed? Or that night. Maybe it's not necessarily like that. This is maybe just this just looks like furniture from the house possibly. Well, maybe I came back to them. And I mean she lived in the house too, so she would have like you know this would be coming back to her, right? Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and Edith, what are you doing in here? Wait, Edith, no mom, Edith. fucking fuck off, mom. You're gonna rip it, let go. Huh? <sighs> I'm stronger than you! I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. Maybe that's what she's back here for. Um, where okay. I never saw a great grandma eat you again. No! The next morning the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. Yo, did you ever do this? Do you ever imagine the little guy running? We both tried to make the best of it. I was always Sonic for me. It's so funny that people have like people have those like shared memories of uh, 
of uh, of that kind of stuff. I think it's hilarious that like everybody knows about that shit because like almost everybody did it. Yeah, Mario too. And I would be even like um let you know like Mario as well. Like he'd be running like like with his arms out like Mario World, or to me Super Mario Advance too. Um, and then he would, and you know, like how he jumps with his arms out and like sticks his chest out. He'd be like jumping over the like things like that. When I would be what, when I'd be thinking about it. Oh, words for me. A little wordly lion. My mom didn't like to talk about it, but she started getting sick a lot. No. <laughs> the rest happened. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. I can't read what it said on her little then medical bracelet. Alone. Then I was what remained. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. The baby! I'm ready to be born, Instrument damn it! Supposed to be for you. <laughs> Here I go. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. I hope she's not having the baby in the house. But I guess if you're reading this now, huh? it not work out that way. I'm coming out. <laughs> Wee! This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. What? It's a lot to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. She died in childbirth? Fuck. Oh, I was the baby in the beginning. Oh my god! Oh god, I looked like dog shit too. What remains of Edith Finch was, was the baby, it was the kid the whole time. Little brush Finch! <laughs> Lubridge! <laughs> For sure. Oh no, please tell me Shirley Dallas didn't die in some horrible thing. Hey, thank you, Shirley. Oh, Ian Dallas. I guess that was his mom, probably. Thank you. <laughs> Give me that gold trophy. I feel like we gotta get some other trophy pops too. I didn't see a single one. But not like we really looked hard for him. I'm sure there there are some for like finding some secret thing or something like that. That kid looks like me. Or like what I looked like when I was a little kid. Oh yeah, well we gotta go in for the post-game dungeon. Yeah, I mean, you know, she did a lot of walking around in that house. <laughs> but like, the, I mean, the baby, you know, the baby. There's. Do we think the? Do we think she get, she delivered that child on her own in the house? She would have had to have made it back, uh, you know, and had the baby in a you know fucking hospital or something. Um. Yeah, 22 weeks. Oh, okay, so she wouldn't have... Yeah, you're right, that would be too early anyway. The baby walked to society. Oh, 
<laughs> she had them. She had them maybe four months early. <laughs> oh, that one was that one sucked. <laughs> it was part of the curse. If there was such a thing. Which I think, you know, is the question. Or not the not necessarily the question, but like the idea behind it, right? An hour and a half. Even on my own, there's no fucking way I ever would have made it through an made it through this in an hour and a half. I sit around and look at stuff way too much. Yeah, there's the peaches. Roller skate. A Naperna Interactive. Yo, girl with a gun. Forty seconds. Is it forty seconds, Nav? Yo, look, and now the other homies. Yo, Neil Truckman. Do you see him? There he is, baby. <laughs> you guys want to eat some Alvinos? <laughs> The end. Oh. You don't think Edith would have also gone back into... Um, this is probably where, where you would get the trophies from. Edith wouldn't have also gone back into the library and tried to finish reading the book. Oh, look. We got little little Edie picture. I love her. She's so nice. Eh? I bet she had the most wonderful stories to tell. Even if it wasn't about sad, you know, sad parent, you know, you know, relatives dying and stuff like that. There they are, the homies. I'm sure there is a tier list. You know, hope will. I mean, I guess so, but I also feel like she went. Did she not go to the house looking for that stuff? What happens if I hit okay here? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think... I think, yeah, I think... I guess you're right in that, like... She needed to sort of be the one who could both entertain the idea that there was some kind of curse... And that, you know, weird, uh, you know, tall tales or things happened, you know, to all the family members. But also the idea that it's possible it was just a series of horribly unfortunate coincidences um, that likely were also influenced by the general overall, like, negativity and emotion sort of of the idea of the family and there being a curse in general. You know? So, like, if it was one, if, if there was an answer to either of those things to her, the character, then it wouldn't really have made sense. But I think it would have also. But, you know. Uh, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot to, I'm sure there is a lot to, like, dig into, uh, with, um, 
with all the little things. I'm sure there maybe I'll watch a YouTube video on it. I'm sure there's a lot to uh like, you know, ponder about the story and the, you know, each character's own you know, place in it and all that kind of stuff. Hey, I thought that was cool though. I liked it. Um so, yeah, well, I mean, some you sure, but like some of the things that happened, like getting murdered, or <laughs> I don't know, some of the things that happened seemed to be um, a little unpreventable. But I think I do think that they like got maybe more preventable as it went down. It almost feels like, and I mean, I guess this makes sense as you are. As like things happen and like time goes on, certain things become like let like become in legend or like you know things become a grand engrandized uh, more than they were. So like we start with Odin, yeah, <laughs> Odin who sailed across the ocean on a house and then <laughs> sunk with it and fucking died. And there's a statue of him in the yard, like. You know, like, looking like a king, like, on, like, this cliff kind of thing. And then, like, as it goes through, it, it sort of becomes... I mean, you know, Lewis obviously turned into a king of his own, like, land in his head and all that. But as it goes on, it feels like the like the tall tale and the mythology of the stories as they go for closer and closer and closer to reality sort of feel like they... Like, the, you at first, they want you to think that it's a weird paranormal, like, curse high, you know, kind of occurrence... And then when you get to the lower ones, it's like, well, Gus died because he was out in a storm and a fucking totem pole or, or a tent or some shit fell on him because nobody was watching him. Uh, and the same about Gregory and, like, all that. So it's, like, on the back end, like, on, on the older generation, you have the legend and the curse and all that. And at the closest end to your character, it's, like, just, again, a, a sad series of coincidences. Um... And, you know, people that were clearly damaged by the, the you know, the collective family baggage of this happening throughout, you know, multiple generations of people. And I think that's interesting. And so did I think it was interesting during the game. Um, number one, <laughs> the fucking house. The environment of this game, is it sells it. If the house wasn't as cool as it is... Um, then, uh, this game would be bad. Um, and then I think a lot of the segments are really interesting, too. I feel like some of the segments are a little thin. Um, I don't think, like, they're all interesting mechanically. But I think at least all of them have some degree of, like, you know, they're, some, they're all at least interesting to some degree on a story level, if they're not mechanically interesting. And the ones that are interesting... To play and interesting to you know watch as a story are uh, are the best ones. But yeah, you know, I don't think it's pretentious. I also think pretentious is the wrong way to describe any kind of art. Really, I mean, you know, with with some slight skews on the outskirts, obviously. Um, but even other games in this genre kind of that, uh, that are like this, <laughs> that have less going on also and are, you know, less video gamey, I don't know, you know, it's, it all, at the end of the day, it just comes down to people wanting to express something, right? I guess if you didn't want to express anything, then that would be pretentious. But this felt like there was clearly an idea that, you know, someone wanted to communicate. And if that's all you're trying to do, then I, it's A-OK -okay by me, I'd say. Bruh. Will it, if I reloaded this game, would it load me back in here? You guys want to listen to the Tom song again? Guys, Odin... Edie, Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter, Kay. Should have kept off the phone, maybe, but hey, Kay, Gregory, Gus, Don, Sanjay, Lewis, Milton, Edith, and uh, Lil Brudge, Kazuichi. 07. 
I hope you guys kill the Emperor in heaven. <laughs> nice. Hey, look, the one and done also. Do we see? We saw Sanjay in some pictures. There's pictures of him and Don together. Sanji. What if it was Sanji? Um, yeah, I like that. I would recommend it. I mean, not to you guys because you watched me play it. I wouldn't rec I wouldn't necessarily recommend you play it yourself now that you've seen this. If you had didn't know it was gonna happen before, <laughs> but I would recommend it to somebody else. Is what I'm trying to say. If someone hadn't played it or seen it. I'd recommend it. And hey, hell yeah, I had a good time. Fun uh, one and done. Um, yeah, this is bumming me out. Making I'm gonna I'm screenshotting the full uh, family tree now that I got it. This is bumming me out though. Yeah, Odin is the is the strongest. Odin is the, has the highest power level, and Gregory has the lowest power level. He was fucking one. I don't care that he had magic uh, music powers. <laughs> So his dad thought he was one. He got bodied by a bath. <laughs> That's so terrible to say. They're not real people. <laughs> Guys. Um. Hey, that was a great time. Thanks for sticking on the journey with me. I hope you guys had fun. I feel like that was actually a good one. I was a little worried I wasn't going to take the game seriously at all. Uh, and if it felt like I, if it seemed to you like I wasn't taking the game seriously at all, incorrect. I was, in my way, invested in it. Um, yeah, so I think it worked out. That was a good one. Good, uh, good, good one-off time for us. <laughs> it's fucking with Tom song. Um, yeah, it was a whim. It was mostly just, yeah, the house had hands. It was mostly just a whim. Uh, I just, you know, I had this on PS Plus. Um, and so I uh, had always wanted to check it out because you know, I just heard it was good. Should we play Unfinished Swan? Could I beat that in a night too? We'll put that on the list to, to do down the road. I'm not going to do it next, but... Uh, yeah, the, the, the uncle under the house was actually one of my favorite story twists. I was really interested in, or invested in it in that point. Um, what was I gonna say, guys? Next week, well, first of all, it we, uh, Danganronpa Two is back on Sunday again, and yeah, I th I think I do think that too. Well, that was Walter, right? The one who was under the ground. He sort of felt like he, him being in the bunker was like a metaphor almost for being trapped in the... And he literally was trapped by the anxiety of being afraid of the curse. And then he broke out. Um, you know, he decided to live his life. And even though that was the day that he fucking died, uh, he, he, like, he made peace with that and put it behind him. Which is kind of what she did at the end, too. Yeah. And there's no such thing as curses, you guys. Curses aren't fucking real. So if you feel like you're cursed out there and there's nothing is ever going to go right or go your way ever again, um, that's fake. And it will. As long as you keep soldiering on. Nothing bad. It lasts forever. Um, yeah, Danganronpa... To, except for the Steiner's curse, which we're all fucking plagued with. Go read Jujutsu Kaisen. They use cursed techniques in that. Cursed energy. Um, okay, Danganronpa 2 will be back on Sunday. And then on Friday next week, you guys, we're going to play the Splatoon 3 side order DLC. A true artistic work on par with uh, whatever fucking happened to Edith Finch. Um, I'm really excited for it. I it's it's I I've some stuff I don't know if anybody has seen anything about it, uh, but some stuff has come out about the mode. It's it is absolutely a roguelike or you know, a rogue light. Like if you die, if you game over, you have to start from the beginning. It isn't like uh, Octo expansion or anything like that. But we are gonna fucking do it. 
Uh, and even if it takes multiple streams uh, playing the, you know, doing it over and over and over again, I can't imagine it won't be fun. It seems like there's a ton of, like, randomization and customization and all kinds of cool stuff you can do. And we might also just do some matches of Splatoon 3, uh, or, like, play Salmon Run, or... Uh, I never finished the, like, the... You know how every Mario game has, like, a final, uh, really hard level? The story mode in Splatoon 3 has a level like that, and I never did that level. So we might do that on the stream. It's sort of gonna be, like, half side order and half an excuse for me to just, like, play Splatoon 3 on stream for a couple weeks. Because I love the game, and I haven't been playing it as much lately. Um, and I'd love to do that again. So that'll sort of be the thesis of that project. Uh, faffing around and playing Splatoon 3 and also doing, you know, chipping away at doing runs on the side order. Uh, I don't know what level of replay value there is other than just that it'd be fun to replay. So I don't know if we'll do multiple runs if we finish it. I don't know. But I, that would, I would at least expect that for a couple weeks. And also there's a bunch of, there's two weeks I'm going to be taking off in March anyway. Um, because my plans for the rest of the year require me to do it and it sucks but it will happen but i'll let you guys know about all that at a later date for tonight hey night naff for tonight i'm going to bed too thank you guys for sticking with it even though it was an hour later uh, i had a great time edith finch good game edith streamch good time i'll see you next time baby big love Nighty night. Morning, Will. Bye.